in event number three, Jesse Lonis came in as the chip leader and ended with a fourth place finish. Now, he's the short stack entering the event number four final table. Will his fortunes change? He'll have to contend with the likes of Jeremy Osmus, the 2022 Poker Go Cup champion and a host of other talented sharks. It all happens right now. Welcome back to Las Vegas for coverage of the 2024 Poker Go Cup. We have a stacked final table for you yet again as event number four looks to find its winner today. It's a 10K No Limit Hold'em event that we are watching unfold today. My name is Rem Korinkama, Donnie Peters alongside me, and here we are inside this wonderful studio. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks are on the call on PokerGo.com, so if you want to listen to their smooth voices and, and, and inside jokes, Go ahead and over to PokerGo.com right now to not miss a second of their banter. We'll be here all day as well on YouTube and Twitch, so don't go anywhere. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and let's see if Jesse Lonis can run up a stack again the same way he did on yesterday's stream. And there he is, the 2022 champ, the man who took home the big cup, Jeremy Osmus. And there it is, the 2023 champ. Mr. Kerry Katz. By the way, happy birthday, Kerry Katz. Happy birthday, Mori Eskandani. They both had their birthday yesterday. And here is the 2020 WSOP Online Main Event Champ for a whopping 3.9 million, Stoyan Madanziev. Madanziev is our chip leader. Here's a look at the chip counts presented by Octopi Poker. There are a ton of big lines in play, so whatever plans you have for the rest of the day, you better cancel those because we're going to be here a while, and this is going to be an intense battle with some deep stack play, which is the exact opposite of what we saw yesterday when it was a shove fest. Nobody wanted to bust. We were seven-handed for three hours. Right now, we could be six-handed for three hours because the average stack is 67 big blinds. You saw the payouts on the screen. Let's dive right into the action with the blinds only being... 15k 25k yeah. donny what happened yesterday were they in a rush is it just one big line? they played super long the night before right and rock busted on the big line one big cut line. things down quite quickly here bit of a different story 67 big blind average i mean feels unheard of for our event so quite honestly I mean. <coughs> 100 a result of some fast play last night you know, some things things break a certain player's way, and in this case, it is Stoyan Madanjev, who has 133 big blinds, which is a clear indication of the terror he was bestowing upon his fellow what players play during now. yesterday's action. My, my go-to meal, my usual. <laughs> <laughs> Rice, Aram cucumbers, soup. Aram Zobian. No, no, uh, no protein. Raising to 55K. No protein. Awesome is defending from the big blinds. Shrimp, beef. Chino Ring ordered the whole menu at the local Chinese uh, restaurant, so it sounds. Din Tai Fung. Din Tai Fung here. You like Din Tai Fung or not? Like dumplings oh. and stuff? I haven't eaten there. That place is You've great. never had Din Tai Fung? It's very good. Very good. Are you being serious? No. It's, it's probably good. the best dumpling place. Oh, really? I like, like dumplings. Yeah. yeah I love it. For sure, it's the best dumpling place. <laughs> Aria Where doesn't realize how much free Aria? advertisement they're getting out of like giving these players board? food. Yeah, I mean, Din Tai Fung is, is very, very good. The front desk. I think I mean, all, all the restaurants here, here oh, are pretty top tier. Yes. Osmus check calling on the flop here. The continuation bet was 35k from Zobian. Osmus turns, you know, an all right card here. He's got that king ten of hearts, so turns that back door flush draw. Ops to check. Of course, Zobian's eights is still best here. Both these players uh, once made the WSP main event final table. Interestingly enough. One sixty. One sixty. Zobian comes with another bet here, this time for one hundred and sixty K into 205. So sizing up almost about 75% pot or so. Osmuth with the decision now. Electing to 
make the call is Osmus. Gate of spades on the river. That gives Zobian a full house, makes him feel very, very comfortable here in this spot. If there was a chance he was beat from his opponent, Osmus, then quite a lovely river card for him. So we'll see what value sizing he comes with here. I had a good feeling we were going to make the final table yesterday. It was just weird. I felt that. Well, it was my birthday. <laughs> I had to run good. Yesterday was your birthday? Are you serious? Yeah. Jane here at 29? Yeah, 54. You and my dad have the same birthday. And Maury. And Justin Young. Yeah. All four of you guys. Yeah, Ju Justin Young's exactly 10 years younger than me. Wow, I didn't know that. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> 335 is the bet here from Zobian. My, my dad's, dad's uh, 30. This is my dad's birthday yesterday, too. Tomorrow. Yours? My father's birthday oh, tomorrow. Oh, wow. I'm. Just wanted the first one. Won the first one. Zobian winning the first one. I don't know what happened, but I'm happy. Uh, shout out to everyone uh, tuning in. I the pair pre flop. Did you make a boat? Deuces? Red one. I want to let everyone know in the chat, I believe you. all we cool. ask for is that you like and subscribe Just, to our channel and our videos. Deuce, but, uh, Here's a look at the race of the cup. Otherwise. The winners from the previous events are up there, of course. Interesting way to We're going to give away some annual subscriptions to PokeGo today on the broadcast. So if oh. you're sticking around for Ooh. a bit, we will Let's go. give away our first one when we get down to the final three. The and then we'll do another one when we get down to heads up play. So however long that yeah, might be, would have flop we'll set you guys up for likely. two chances to win an annual subscription to Poker Go, And that is in honor of a new season of High Stakes Poker yeah. coming in just two weeks. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Very much appreciate everyone hanging out with us yet again today. This should be a good one, Donnie. Very different dynamics given how much play there is. Yeah, I mean, oftentimes, you know, we get what? 20 to 30 big blind stacks, 20 to 40 in that range. So play is accelerated a little bit here. The average stack is 67 big blinds. The short stack being Jesse Lonis. He's still above 20. He's got 22. So there's going to be a lot of maneuverability f from these players. All of these players, I think, can certainly get creative at times. So could lead to some very interesting play as we carry on throughout the day. Here's a look at Maranziev's bio sheet. Poker Pro from Bulgaria, like I said, winner of that enormous online event. Donnie, it almost doesn't seem real to win just shy of $4 million <laughs> in an online tournament. Yeah, I think it had 5,300 entries in that tournament, so <laughs> certainly not an easy task for Maranziev. It's good to see him in the studio. I think it's his first time, time here, uh, I believe so, so good on him. Putting that money to good use against some of the best in the world. I always respect players that step out of that comfort zone, mixing it up here with the best. But Anzi have already off to a good start this year, winning the 5K no limit at Lucky Hearts just seven days ago for 100K. And then this already his third cash at the Pokego Cup. He's got a 10th and a 12th. So a win today, Ronnie, uh, Donnie, would really, you know, give him quite a lead with two min caches and a win. Oh, yeah. We know from past experience that uh, usually the win plus min cache puts you in contention. That's how tight the battle usually is all the way throughout till the final event. Yeah, and a slightly different structure this year for at least this major, likely the other majors as well, the other majors being U.S. Poker Open and Poker Masters. But opening with the 5K having a handful of 10Ks, and then that, that final event being a 25K. Years past, it's been a 50K. So, you know, you, th you think in theory, I think a lot more players will kind of be in contention throughout. Also, a lot more players 
will, I think, be looking to play in that final event, the 25K. The jump to a 50K, yeah. that's a big jump, right? I mean, it does rule out a lot of players. So a lot of these guys we see, you know, throughout the studio over the course of the week, these guys all at this final table, I, I would think are going to be out there in that 25K, blasting away and, and you know, chasing that, that cup title. Your name today is Ronnie, by the way. I slipped up once, and now chat's running along with it, so. That's fine. Ronnie Dieters, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, Donnie, Johnny. It's, it's funny, so, something that I've, I've never corrected people on if they say my name. Sometimes I'll say my name, they'll be like, okay, Johnny. <laughs> but I, I never, like, no, it's Donnie. I just don't, I just, I just let them run with it. Right. I mean, some people, like, there was one guy last year at the WSOP, he, he worked for Poker News. I'm pretty sure it was either I think it was Johnny. Is he called me it all summer, Johnny. and I just couldn't I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't correct him because I felt like I was gonna like let him down and he would get sad that he messed it up for so long. So whatever, I just kept it going. The funny thing with my <laughs> name is that every time I say my name to someone that I have never met before, they always say the same thing. Oh, that sounds like a company, <laughs> Remco Incorporated, for all your house cleaning needs. So we'll be in check calling, flop and turn here. Jesse Lowen is one of those players who leans a bit more aggressive than we might be accustomed to seeing. If you were with us yesterday, of course, you got a taste of that. Lowness was at the final table yesterday, began with the chip lead at that final table and was certainly aggressive for much of his time there, ultimately going out in fourth place. See if he's going to fire again here. He does not. Checks behind and Zobian going to take this one down. Both both these players, I mean, I think they look a little bit older than they are, but they're both 28. So that in in today's poker world, that's like brand new. I feel right. like <laughs> it's funny because I've been I've been watching a lot of the World Series Poker Classic episodes that we've been releasing on our YouTube channel. Shout out by the way to anyone who has been you know keeping up with those. We're going to release the 2012 main event very shortly on the channel. Uh, the one thing that stands out is that they always talk about it when they get down to day seven, final table, wh whatever the case may be. And they always say how the average age is going younger and younger and younger. <laughs> We're way past that era now. It's getting older. Where it's getting <laughs> older and older and older because the established pros are sticking around and there's not as many young guns coming up from the online streets. So currently, I'd say we're probably, you know, if we if we have anyone under 30 at the main event final table, that's already special as we are picking up the action here on a hand that could become quite special. Madanziev has tens, Osmus has jacks, and Osmus coming in with a three bet here. 155, the re-raise here from Osmus. Action folds to carry cats in the big blind. He's going to toss that queen eight. Donnie, what kind of options do we have here if we're Madanziev? Probably lean call just because of how deep these players are. I'm not sure you just want to, you know, get in two tens for what is effectively 64 big blinds. That's Osmus' stack. Madanziev does cover. He does elect to call, so off to a flop we go. Oh, 10 in the oh, window. Wow. Queen 5 10 here, so the queen could could save Osmus a, a little bit, but I, I would expect he's going to lose at least a little bit on, on one street here. That said, if, if this one was 10 high, could spell disaster for the 2022 Poker Go Cup champion. Let's not forget, Osmus does have some. Backdoor opportunities here. Madanziev, by the way, looks the part. He's got a good stare about him. Now the question is, if you're Madanziev, do you check raise immediately? Do you like enjoy Osmus to continue betting because there's a lot of ace kings in this range? I think you can. Three hundred. Oh, never mind. Three hundred. Thought you said two hundred for Three. first. I was like that. That doesn't count. Madanjeev going to waste a little time here coming with that check raise, 300. Osmus came with a bet of one-third pot. Oh, 
with, with Jax here. Still has a, a plenty of hand here, Donnie, to continue. Yeah, and he's also probably... Oh, okay, he does fold. Good fold from him. Well done. I was going to say, you know, he, maybe he's questioning, you know, why is he check-raising just a queen here? Why wouldn't he let me possibly bet again if he does have top pair with, you know, like a king-queen, something like that in his hand? Also, you know, I, I probably don't have to worry about the king jacks of the world too much because I have two jacks in my hand. But nonetheless, that's why Jeremy Osmus is at the final table and we're here in the basement, you know? <laughs> Uh, Stephen Walker in the chat says, the stack depth is much better for TV. Everyone at 25 BB or less is just coolers and shove fest standard spots. We get some bluff raising at this depth. Yes, very well said, Stephen. Uh, we're definitely going to see some more post-flop play. I'm myself a big fan of all-in poker. I just really enjoy the, the excitement and the sweat. But a little bit of a mix is always appreciated. And today we're going to see a different brand of poker with a lot more post-flop action. Lost the I will Maybe. very much enjoy Here as well. <laughs> Virtual Joker says, why does Lonus look like Nick Diaz? That's natural in poker. I can see it. In case any of you guys didn't know. <laughs> I can see it. Person who loses the hand before, almost always raises the next hand. Oh, oh. What? Osmus, King 10 of Hearts, raising it up, 55K. By the way, Jesse Lonis, aforementioned, is our short stack with 16 big blinds. Deuces on the button, maybe not the shoving hand he was hoping for. Lonis is considering it. Maybe we'll even see him make a call, hoping that this goes multi-way to the flop. Shows some discipline. Yeah, I mean, I think he's just a little bit too short here. You know, had he 55. had 25 big, something like that. All right. Well, it's one of those spots where if there's four players involved and you're closing the action in the big blind, then you're never folding. But in yeah. this situation, with the blind still behind you, off the short stack, it's just too much of a risk. on the flop. Both Osmus and Reem flopping a pair of kings. Zobian, however, the one betting here with a pair and, and multiple backdoor draws here. Well. Reem makes the call. Osmus has the best of it here with king 10. What goes through Osmus' mind here, Donnie? I mean, might just want to play this one, you know, kind of conservatively. Your king looks really good, of course, but also having two hearts with one heart on board looks pretty good overall, but... Check. 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 Decent card here for Zobian, with it being a fourth diamond. Checks around here. Queen of Hearts on the river. So if this one goes to showdown with these three, Osmus has Check. the best of it. Check. Osmus has to think that his king is going to be good here a lot of the times. Could we see a small bet from him, or is, is it not worth it almost, honey? I mean, I, I guess it kind of depends on, you know, where he thinks he's going to get called, or if he thinks Zobian's going to bet, take a chance to bluff this at all. Nice and small here. Third pot. Must be hard for quick fold from Zobian. Hard for Reem to fold, potentially. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if, if we've seen Reem plenty, right? I mean, He's not folding top pair. I mean, not <laughs> that. I need you to have that. 
Yeah, what hand could Osmus possibly sure, have? On the flat. I, need you to I can't even think of a draw that Osmus could have. Yeah, I mean, this is just... Oh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I love watching Chinori more than any anything. But isn't this the sort of small flaw with Chino's game sometimes? Where I'm he is almost too flat. eager to go yeah, to so that showdown. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's tricky. He's got, he's got top pair. I know he doesn't have a kicker, but... <laughs> But going back to what you said, it's like, you know, what what sort of bluffs there? Yeah, I will so say lucky. this. Jeremy Osmus is capable of finding some more elaborate bluffs, yes. Now, is he going to find those on that type of texture three ready. ways with one person behind there. him? Jeremy also knows that Chino is a sticky player, so <laughs> you have all those factors and involved. On top of that, Osmus was the initial raiser. For who? And then family. check called the C-bet <laughs> on the flop. Uh, it's, it's a little bit, or sorry, called the um, a Zobian Osmus bet on the family, flop, which... Know, so. I mean, for... Osmos would need to have a hand like probably a suited ace queen. Yeah. But even then, is is he going to be value like betting it. that on the river in that spot? He might just check it, look to check call if Aram does bet behind him. That might have been what what you know Chino was saying. Like I need you to have exactly that being you know like like an ace queen of spades, an ace queen of diamonds, where you flop basically back doors is what you're going with here. Try and see a Whoa. cheap turn, cheap river. Bonus off the short stack, raising with king five of diamonds from the cutoff. Lonus is hoping to get one through here. He does. Check, raise, bet, shove. I don't even know how I can win that pot. <laughs> I don't know how I can win that pot. Donnie, Kerry Katz, so comfortable here on 55 big blinds. We've seen Kerry, you know, be in survivor mode a lot of the times when we see him at the final table, of course. Every now and then he runs up a stack, closes one out. But for him, kicker, this must be a perfect scenario work, because we know that he's, he's never in a rush and when. we know that he's always he's looking for the right yeah. spot. I mean, he's just going to chill, man. You can't get seven big blinds out of Kerry Katz's hands. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to get 55 big blinds? I know, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so a little bio there for Jesse Lonis. He is still our short stack. Ace Jack offsuit. Lonus plays ace jack like ace king, so we'd expect <laughs> to see a raise here from him. Jesse Lonus is one of my new favorite players, I have to say. He's got a bit of Chino ream to him, I must say. Wouldn't you say? A little bit of old school Chino in the way that he plays? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's I guess you'd call him a field player, a, a live player, you know? Came up playing limit hold'em, right? I mean, wow. Two in a row here for Lonus. Yeah, now it's now it's Reem, you know, kind of threatening there with being the short stack. Lost that pot paying off Osmus on the river a couple hands ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, this started with more people than yesterday. Good. Now he's about two. The, it didn't start with that back table ahead of yesterday, I don't think. We started with like 35 so. or 38 yesterday or something yeah. like that. What's up? Right? We did not have that back table, no. So very. I started in the back. <laughs> I feel like the last couple series, though, the numbers don't, like the, the earlier series a year or two ago, the 10Ks, the first ones would be big, then they would trail off. Now they're all like staying pretty strong throughout, you know what I mean? It's just more players now. Yeah, I guess so. There's just not much of a drop off. Oh, the regulars aren't here for some reason. Like. What's going on? Oh, the Brigada or something? Oh, yeah. Bro yeah, there's no um, Ren, Renlin, Ike's not here. Ike will probably be here for the 25. The Trangelo. Yeah, yeah probably. Some people are just too rich, Donnie. Yeah, I mean, there's there's kind of <laughs> there's the people that aren't here that you probably wouldn't expect to be here. Nick Petrangelo, Isaac Haxton, Jason Kuhn, etc. I mean, we've said it many times that those guys likely don't get out of bed for <laughs> anything less than a 25k rate. Um, but then there's other people. Ren Lin, I'm surprised to not see him here. Adam Hendricks, haven't really seen him. Um, I mean, I, I'm thinking like. Sam Soverell, Sean Winter. Sam Soverell has been he's been coming late. Seth Davies. Seth, where, where Seth, Seth Davies, Davies has been here a couple times. Um, yeah, I mean it's yeah. Who who knows? I mean maybe it's just kind of early early year fatigue. Lucky Hearts is going on down in Florida. Borgata had a big thing up in in, in the Northeast, so maybe people are just you know kind kind of chilling. Martin Zamani, another one. You know we used to see him a lot. He's he's not here, so so yeah, it's. 
it's tricky. But we've also, listen, we've also kind of gained some players, right? You know, there's there's some new faces that are out there, so that's good to see as well. Chris Brewer, haven't seen him. That's kind of, that's a really surprising one, to be honest, so. Feels like uh, Michael Adamo has retired from poker. Haven't seen him in a long time. We'd love to see Michael Adamo back on the scene. Here's a look at Chino Reem walking in, and if you walk right into a new annual subscription to Poker Go, use promo code New Year Twenty Four for twenty dollars off the annual sub. You get a chance to start watching right out of the gate. February nineteenth, new season of High Stakes Poker making its debut, and Donnie and I have teased this a little bit already in the past few broadcasts. But oh boy, is that an action-packed showing! of high stakes poker. Uh, I've heard like I different versions of the same <laughs> thing, but people were saying they felt sorry right, for right. certain players <laughs> with how bad they ran. Um, I'm eight. not gonna feel sorry for anyone personally. If you're on high stakes poker, then I guess you can handle you're it. I right. think you're all right. I get the pass go for <laughs> DJ Raz says, I'm getting a vibe. It could be Zobian versus Cats heads up. Let us know in the chat who you got for heads up play today. I'll go. I'll go. Uh, Madan Ziev. I'll show some faith in the chip leader, but I'll go Chino Reem as the Ooh, short stack okay. running it up. Gonna come back, and he is he is the short stack right now. Lonus has moved up ahead of him, and Lonus has, for him, a very nice looking ace jack of clubs here, <laughs> or as he calls it, ace. Yeah, Ultra super premium. That's right. Zobian probably has quite a bit of history with Lonus by now. These guys have been battling in the studio. Can only imagine that this will help Zobian lean towards feeling pretty confident about Ace Six. Of course, a flop like this doesn't help, but Ace High is going to be good still some portion of the time. Yeah, it will be. Zobian, I mean, he might just put this into the check fold bucket. Lonus, on the other hand, certainly bet here. He's got a gutter to Broadway. He's got backdoor clubs. He's got the initiative as well, being that pre-flop raiser. make the call. King on the turn. That delivers a Broadway straight for Jesse Lonis. Zobian checks once again. Ninety K is the bet, and Zobian with the <laughs> Jack Deuce. with a look, puts the muck. Jack four. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what I said. Zobian, the non-believer, but still doesn't have enough to continue with. He doesn't want to come sweat these. She watches them on uh, stream. I'm not allowed to tell her when I bust because she's an hour behind, so I gotta. I don't follow her. My wife's the opposite. She needs to go immediately. My wife's the opposite. Also. She's like, I don't want to be. I don't want you home. And there's three people playing or something. She likes to watch. She doesn't want it to be ruined. The stream. Yeah. I don't know. She enjoys it. Mine doesn't like to watch. Shout out to Jesse Lowen's his wife. Not sure if she's here with us on YouTube or with Jeff and Brent on Poker Go, but so far, Lowen is off to a good start today. Of 
couple of jacks here for Kerry Katz. He's in the big blind too, facing a raise and a call. This is twice now we've seen Zobian come in with you know some some smaller suited connectors. He he does like to to mix it up you know quite a bit, especially you know when when things are generally deeper around the table. Zobian will get in there, try and play position in a lot of spots. Three bet here from Kerry Katz. How do you like the sizing, Donnie? Up to 200k. Probably go a little bit larger. You know, he, he is he is inviting possibly some calls here. Both players not enough, so they do put it in the okay. muck. Shows it. Look at that. Of course, you got to show it to keep some respect for when you pull that trigger with seven deuce later on in the game. Kerry Katz, That's the bottom, buddy. and high-stakes poker player. That's the bottom of that range right there. I've never seen him on high-stakes poker, though. We, I feel like we need to change that. Maybe uh, 13th on bottom, but poker's all-time money list. Feels like it's only a matter of time before he's going to enter the top 10. If it wasn't that thing. <sighs> Shout out to everyone in the chat. If you have any questions for Donnie or myself, please send them in. We'll uh, do some giveaways later in the show. Let's get those likes up to 500. That'd be awesome. It really helps us spread the love of the stream to as many people as possible as Wadanziev finds kings and Zobian has ace-jack off. This could be interesting. All right, I'll take two blackjack right now. You take that? I'll take it. How about two red ones? I'll take two red. Mixed. Doesn't matter. You don't want two jacks right now. <laughs> that would be bad news. What's Lonis thinking about here? Okay. Just thought better of it. <laughs> thought, he, thought he might be wanting to get involved there. Cats, let's go of the ace four off. Let's see if Chino finds something playable multi-way. Ace six off. Probably not what he was looking for. Uh, keep in mind here, Zobian looking for an ace. Reem and Katz both with an ace as well, making it that much harder to really improve here. As Reem decides to uh, toss well, in the extra here. We know it's Only not Jax, boys. One big blind one to potentially Next win a few down. more. <laughs> Zobian flopping a pair of jacks. Madanziev still out in front here with pocket kings. Now, how much is Zobian going to like this flop, Donnie, given that he also has the ace of clubs to go along with it? I, th I think he'll like it to, to some degree. Does connect with that jack, of course. The ace of clubs, as you mentioned, looking good there. I'm sort of surprised but don't see if checks here, or is this just too scary of a flop, Donnie? I mean, it, it's a flop that's going to connect a lot with Aram Zobian. You don't have the king of clubs in your yeah. hand, so yeah. it's just a, kind of a tricky board to play if, if you start bloating a pot, it's especially especially if Ranjiv, you know, has thoughts of how Zobian plays, where he can get in there and be creative and play a little bit of a wider range in position. Well, Kings is just one pair. Yeah, it's an over pair to the board, but it's it's tricky overall. Action checked around on both the flop and turn, and look at that. Zobian here gets there. Wow. Backdoor clubs do come in. Yeah, but where's the money, Don? Well, there's no money yet. There's no money to speak of <laughs> whatsoever. Chino Reem almost probably tempted here to do something. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Chino wants to bet at this. Very conserv conservative approach here by Medunziev all throughout this hand. Can't really fault him though. And now Zobian with the ace high flush. Maybe just a small bet since no one else showed any strength. So, you know, what are you really profiting from? If Medunziev or Reem would have had a club, they were probably likely to bet here on the river with, the f with four out there. Snap fold from Reem. But 
Valenciev does make the call, and Zobian wins a little extra here on the river. This head could have played out way differently. Yeah, and if, if you're Maranjeev, I mean, you probably lost the minimum. You know, obviously there's a chance if he bets that his opponents fold, of course. You know, so it's kind of tricky to say well, that like now, results-oriented. Oh, but I can't imagine Aram Zobian is folding the flop. Certainly can't imagine him folding the turn, right? So with the way that that ran out, that type of texture, I mean, I, I don't hate it. I, I like that approach from Maranjeev, you know? Just taking it conservative again. No real need to, to blow the pot in that position. Blinds now 15K, 30K with a 30K big blind ante. Price of poker going up every 40 minutes at this final table. Rafi in the chat says, Godspeed, Aram. Love you, bud. Always good to see some love in the chat. JV says, checking kings on the turn seems like a mistake to me. Stephen Walker says, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Quite a few <laughs> raised eyebrows here from the way that hand played out. I almost bluffed at that river. 65,000. Only in the I know. For those with us in the chat, uh, do let us know where you're watching from. I'm glad I didn't. I still need producer Aiden, Donnie, to hang up a giant world map here on our wall. And then we have the little red pins, you know, the little thingies. And then we just put one in every time <laughs> someone <laughs> mentions where they're watching from. And we will verify. We'll call your house to make sure you're actually from there for all the clowns that say they're watching from the moon. Or they say, oh, your mother's basement. Don't you start it with? I will tell you how much I have. Thank you. <laughs> Four, five, five. Four, fifty-five behind. Zobian versus Reem here. Going to the flop. King, king, eight. Check. Rolls off the deck. Likely to end up in a chop, as you can tell by the percentages next to their names. 60,000. 60, Thank you. Okay. I started short. I got it. Started five, so I got like 700. We're so deep still. Compared to yesterday. All yeah. three of the hands I played, I don't even know. And we're already on the Yeah, we're at 30K I'm big. Kind of fucking make Yesterday we started at 60 or 80. All, th all fucking three of them. I can fucking show you one of those. That gummit. That gummit. Reem not having <laughs> I could the start you. he was hoping I for. I can show you one of those. Look at this, Reem showing the what ace happened? of spades <laughs> on its way to the muck. From the place over there. So we're over here. Funny if you got escorted out. In and out. First time in here. Uh, Shout out to first time in here. all these places that oh, okay. I'm going to yeah, rattle off here. We got Germany, Poland, Netherlands, happened, Connecticut, right? Cyprus, Norway, oh, South Florida, yeah, Ireland, UK, no. when? What is, India, you Australia, Colombia, uh, Toronto, uh, Ontario. My buddy came to sweat. But they won't let him? I'll tell you, I should tell you on break. Yeah. <laughs> Croatia, Indiana, Seattle. Oh, he's gone now. UK, Jacksonville, England, <coughs> the great uh, state of Maine. 30K big line. Yeah. I declare myself all in. Four, four, four five, five. Declared Texas bankruptcy. in the house as Chinari moves all in. Four, five, 15 five, bigs five. with ace, ja ace 10 suited as Osmus finds the, the king jack off. Office reference. I love that, I love that shot. The last time you saw it. I don't watch it anymore. I watch one. I you watch. Rewatch it now. Nah. They could never make that show today. I, I Jeremy think has a gin, gin King Jack. Waste of time. Kind of King Jack. Do that. What should I do with it? Call. Oh. You don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Like uh, watching the rewatching the Office. It's just so much, so many better things to do. I think. At night in bed. You should call. Read. Blast myself with blue light. And Did you have tired. King Jack? Yeah. Sarcasm. I'll, I'll take the gamble. Fuck it. 60 40. Hey, King Jack. 
Reem gets yeah. it done. No showdown. No. Always great. Sooner than I think he calls. Bro, let's do it. I'm I needed to win a pot. You had 450, right? Four, five, five. I think it's a good if you would have lost. Three times. Yeah, I would have. World Poker Tour champ, and of course, that epic run in the 08 main event where he finished seventh. Yeah. Should have finished much higher in that main event. We got First that November 9th. Yeah. What is that? We got that whole bucks? main event yeah. available on our YouTube channel if you want to relive that. Yeah, I don't know what else to do there. <laughs> well, I mean, I could raise, raise call off. Call. You can just no, raise no, no. And I can, we can see a flop. No. That's what you should have done. <laughs> no, no. The nearest king five deeps. Yeah, <coughs> and then I bet fucking get stuck. Oops, Three, Three of something. A couple of queens here for carry cats. Comes in with a min raise. If you guys know anything, I'm squeezing everything like Baccarat. So if you <laughs> see me go deep in this squeeze, it might be there. <laughs> How's the Baccarat squeeze? The corner first? I just, or I, just the side? I just go just like that. Yeah. yeah. That's Unless that squeeze has cost you a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> it has. Unless like. Back in the day when I was actually playing, and I, if I needed something, like if I needed a no sider, mm -hmm. you don't play bar anymore. Do you? Not anymore. No, I would squeeze from the side just to look for that little dot in the middle. If you know it's a two or a three, then like I know I would have it. Yeah. Stuff like that. Thank you. Uh, you can just, just ask. Just you can just ask me. Uh, yeah, I have one point nine five, two point two yeah, five, two point three two. Know anything about yeah, yeah. Yesterday, what yeah. You got? yeah. You were all excited coming out. I think uh, <laughs> around 3 million. 3 I'm not sure if after yeah, it looks the... like 3.4. Because Justin played a whole hand. Blind, sport. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he it, threw the river and he bet three streets or two. He, he bet There's only one combo that he loses. Right, with. exactly. Right, 60,000. That's crazy. Yeah. Of all the combos. Fold. Only king, queen. If Moreno called with jack 10, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Only king, queen. I think Moreno at first was probably like, yeah, right. You're right. I'm sure he didn't believe in you know what I mean, but... Justin wouldn't lie. No, no. He was, yeah. He was on his brother. But just knowing that, how many people do that? Play a whole hand where <laughs> they don't know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like maybe in some mixed games you see that more. Yeah, yeah. No limit, like no one does that. So. Playing multiple. So far, Jay Little. Yeah, I think so. That, has a lot that was of the biggest one. Yeah, that was a big one. One one, and then he cashed two. Oh, did he? Did he get a ninth also? He's telling me or twelfth maybe. Yeah, maybe. He did. Poker coaching. What are you? Are you, uh, are you hoping to get a matching set? I am actually. Although mine has handles on it, I think. Mine's different. Oh, you've won the Poker Go Cup before? Yeah. Two thousand four. Two years ago. It did used to have handles. You're right. It did. Because that's how Negroni was drinking. I still on have all my trophies here. Yeah, shout out like to trophies in that cabinet. the Champions League, Seriously, you know? Man. Yeah. Yeah. Like like the the drink drink Gino is, is right. He has left Leaks all of his trophies out I there in the room. EGT, when did it start? This, this, is, the this is the third year. This is the third year? No, no, this is the fourth year. So it's just right after COVID, basically? It used to be the High Roller High Roller Tour. We changed it. Started in 2021. This is the fourth season. You did have some series before, though. Before COVID, well, yeah, no, there, we had, there was we, we've had the majors for a while. We yeah. just didn't have like a, a series that wraps everything together. So now you've got you've got the Pokemon Go Tour with 100 plus events that are 10k or more. Yeah. And then you got the that four, all started. You, and then you have the four majors: the Pokemon Go Cup, U.S. Poker Open, the Super High Roller Bowl, the Poker Masters. Wait, so it's kind of like like golf. The, the, it's the, good. It's great. The yearly Pokemon Go Tour has 100 10k events or more. Oh, you can count WSOP WSOP events. Counts. Those count all the oh, 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 oh. Every event that counts. Yeah, the, the every WSOP event that's streamed by Poker Go, you're saying, right? That doesn't like, have to be streamed. No. Or, every, I mean, every, actually, everything's going to be streamed from now on. But even the mixed games, the 50k PLO that I oh, won yeah, so wasn't streamed. Everything in. Well, they will be for now. And then that was the sickest. We got the we got the triangle studio. So it's all the 10k plus. Was Bahamas part of Poker Go? What? Was Bahamas just not part of Poker Go? Yeah, it's WSOP event. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's WSOP. 10k plus. 
Ten K plus. Yeah. Okay. When did you play those? Yeah. No good. When did Poker Master start? Poker Master's been around a while. Twenty eighteen. What did I do? I, yeah, did, I did the commentary for one of the first ones, oh. I think. The huh? Stevie one. Oh, at the win? That glass no. trophy. Oh. I did commentary no, forget for that. One of the first ones. The, the bounty in Bahamas. One of them, I can't mm. That was good like for you, bro. That was probably 18. Nobody, nobody's, nobody's won all four before. That's, oh, really? Four majors. I think, no one's, I think most anyone's won is two. What do you mean? Like two majors. Series. So like Pogo Cup plus Poker Masters would be two. Yeah. Who, who won two? Chitty? Oh, yeah. Chadwick's won the Ali. I think he's won the U.S. Poker Open and the Poker Masters. Pete's has won. So, so won. No, he's just. I think Pete's they, won the they, Eagle. He, he, no, he won the U.S. Poker Open twice, but he's never. He hasn't won the other three. Ali hasn't won it. He won. He won. I have a letter. Ali won the Poker Masters. Is that the first Poker Masters? Ali won the. He would have won more. First one in the studio. That was the actually that was his first like series. Right. It was a good start. Sean won the too. John's won the yeah. Sean won the. He had a lot of seconds, but I think he won the uh, Poker Masters and the U.S. Poker. Yeah. Fifty K brings it all together. So the, the most popular one. Is the major Negron. Yeah. yeah. Negron has won the Poker Cup at the Super Bowl. There you go. Oh, he's won. Two oh, so there's but no one's won three. No one's won three. You've won two series. No, just one. Just one. I still think we need to install my idea. Bonus, I mean, bonus if you win three or four. Absolutely. Here's a look at the Poker Cup champions. 2021 Negranu, then Osmas, then Cats. Those uh, last two are at this final table today. And uh, there it is. You can see what it takes. Cats got it done with five caches, no win prior to that. Too good. <laughs> One win minimum for those yeah, champions. Yeah, wait, wait, it may come back it, for the vengeance. It'll sell we'll out. It. You, you, you should make it more than 40 players. Believe it or not, the, uh, the highest rated poker series of all times was the NBC Sports Heads Up Championship. Yeah, those, were, were, those were the highest rated poker shows ever. Those rated were, or viewers? Highest viewers or ra highest rated on TV? Those were, What's rated mean? I thought that was just like the viewers. Ra mo viewers. Most viewers? viewers? That was more than WSOP? Yeah. Main event? Really? I remember being around for that. I remember watching it's, it. They are kind of cool. They're, yeah, I mean, they were yeah, really they cool. Are. Well, you have the other celebrities. Yeah, I think it, was it was 64 of them. 64 yeah, yeah. 90 behind. Okay, so... You know, kind of like, oh, a, bra like a bracket. Yeah. I hate to interrupt yeah, all this <laughs> amazing <laughs> table talk here, here, but we've got some real poker on our hands. Sweating him. Yeah, it might be. How do you do? That's what they need to do. Well, they did that last time. No, not. Jesse Lonis. He buffed it off. Probably thinks I don't remember. he's found <laughs> he like a pathway first, maybe two matches to a double up, but that was it. Oh, he, he, he bubbled. finds probably, aces yeah. in the big blind. Huge spot here. And I guess Madonzi have announced 160, and there it comes, just to ensure that he didn't have to burn a that one we just gotta find time the right bank chip. Now back on Lonis, Donnie, who is sitting on up? 21 bigs. It would help if online no options but the shove here, right? Last time? For the first one. Yeah, I mean, this is That's just an unfortunate cooler speak. spot. You uh. really can't fault Jesse Lonis <laughs> for going broke here. <laughs> all in? There it is. Jesse Lonis all moves all in. Madonzi have with the snap call. And here it is, our first oh, all-in so showdown so of the day. <laughs> Lonis in a world of hurt. Queens versus aces. That's not what you want to see. What else is he going to do? Yeah, Jesse kind of gave him a little nod, like, oh, okay. That's how it is. Did it aces, Rosa. got it. What should you do? Be, be I mean, look, if you're going to have, you have, have your aces cracked, versus you Alex? Your wife. Yeah. On the we, final table, the one that you won? Queen on the top. Hey, really? look, if you're going to have your aces cracked, you want your wife to do it. Yeah. All right, here it comes. King 5-8. It's a paint cart, but it's the wrong kind Let's of paint. Let's not talk about cracking cases. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. You don't want to talk about it. Jesse does. Why don't huh? doesn't want to hear any talk huh? of Jesse's aces crack. Man, he said. Turn cart. Ooh. Ooh, King almost. of hearts again <laughs> with the so paint. Close. Just Heart all the too. paint. Keep, yeah, keep you, want, you want some more paint, don't you? Two outs. Black is nice. Black paint or red paint? Let's see some paint. Yeah, yeah. You want some red paint? Red paint just for fun? <laughs> Black paint for sure. He does not want red paint. River card, here it is. The six of hearts, good game. Good game, and that Rocky. sends game, Jesse Lonis to the rail. Lonis eliminated. Good luck. Hey, bud. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Are you leaving and coming back? What are you doing? The chips? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. That one's yours. You want a drink? I'll see you later. Instead of eliminated, maybe we should call it, say, terminated. Yeah. <laughs> 40,500 is Lonis' share of the prize pool, but of course, all eyes on that top prize. 
of well over two hundred thousand dollars. And Stoyan Badanziev is our runaway chip leader for now. Forty percent of all the chips in play. had a really good idea. With five players remaining, we should have a celebrity bracket. So you're guaranteed a celebrity at the final four. Oh wow! Like an athlete bracket. Yeah, and then the rest would be like, you know, pros. Yeah, be cool. And then on a businessman, and then pros. But then only sixteen pros get it. Maybe give the pros less chips in the end. <laughs> Even scales. No. No, because they have to get through 16 pros yeah. to the final four, and then anything can happen in the final four. Yeah, don't beat me. I, uh, I got lucky. I think that. I remember. Yeah, I fought two pairs. The finger would be on the scale. The finger would be on the scale enough. I got very lucky. Right? <laughs> I remember. Yeah, I would have won the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> if what? Gino beat you? If I didn't beat I yeah. Yeah. Would you beat. put a beat on him? I put a nasty one on him. What was the hand? He had King Jack, he had top two, and I went runner runner broadway. I check raised him, he called I check raised small and he called with like Ace a Queen. I had Ace Queen high. Yeah, no. I had a gutter. Gutter. And then you Very fun the yeah, and then talkative table here. We'll we'll lean back as yeah, much as we can here to let you guys all enjoy that table talk banter as Kerry Katz raises it up. So are you a runner, runner? I had nut no pair. I had ace queen on king jack something. A bet small on the flop you called and just no, 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 no. Him. no, no. I had a gutter on king ten something. I had king ten. You had king jack. So how oh, how good were your ratings okay. with Kevin Hart? Oh, and I rivered here. Yeah. You rivered top two. Right. Correct. I don't remember. That sounds right. Yeah. Check raise. You call it the gutter. Yeah. That was and then you awesome. rivered. You rivered oh, top you two. That? That I trapped you, Faye. Yeah. 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 I trapped you. Yeah. When you beat Darren. Flipping yeah, he, out. He was yeah. fine. It would have yeah. been, been nice if you. But it's and it's funniest because it's in the he highest. Busted helm the very helm highest helm. stakes environment. He actually busted helm. Three hundred. Who? Kevin Hart. It's hard to get this celeb big celebrity. These streamers, that's where it's at too. You need Mr. Beast, that's what you need. Yeah, I agree. You need Mr. Beast to the teach Botez, me how to make a hundred million girl, a year. She's got a lot of viewers. She's like really into poker now. Who? That the chess girl? Yeah, Botez. Yeah. She should come play maybe. She's like all in on poker. Content. Yeah, she loves it. That's all she's trying to do. She'll be playing in here about like a celebrity thing. The celebrity poker tour. Like early February, I think. Is a celebrity yeah. poker too? Is this true? It's just like one event. Oh. Here goes Shina Reem. Pocket that? eights moves all in. Little He's old school. He doesn't that. leave one chip <laughs> behind. He just <laughs> actually Four. goes all in. Yeah. Quarter is enough for me. Four, five, five again. Good luck, dude. Thank you. Shina Reem all in for 15 big blinds. And seven deuce there ball. into the muck. Natural nine. Eat natural nine. I do not Where's hit. the celebrity poker tour? At? I stay on six. Where? Is Where? Here? It's here. Oh. I they had one that. last year. Mm. Here? This uh, Nemo girl one. Oh. I didn't even know about that. I think she streams. What is this thing that's yeah, coming up very, very soon? Some celebrity poker invitational. Do poker celebrities get to play it? I uh, saw I it on Instagram. I, I don't even know. Oh, I, I know. You mean the... Uh, Something the win event, celebrity poker. No, there's something here coming yeah. up like that's in a week. Saying. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's uh, the one I'm talking about. Do do uh, poker celebrities get to play it? <laughs> yeah, sure. Donnie, Monica play. Give the viewers <laughs> some insight into what we have going on because that is actually sure happening at the studio. Too. Jeremy is just like the grind. <laughs> <I mean> yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same person. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> so <popularity laughs> uh, we have race. partnered with. Like, Enclave, Enclave in Kia, I believe, is the name of the marketing agency, and they are starting what is called the Celebrity Poker Tour. Yeah, yeah. How many were online? Three, two online. Four live. And I second online. It was held four live. Which big one? Four live. Last year, here in the studio. It was the seven 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 where I got cheated. Nemo, another uh, chess star who is into poker, won that event. And they're, they're, they're starting like similar style. And it was like an, I, I kind of guess, I guess it's not so guy. much of a tour, so I, I but a group of, of tournaments, I celebrity poker tournaments. Online. I think you know, they're I trying to do four a year, a maybe. Lot better online than they do in person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> we'll be live streamed on Poker Go and the Poker Go YouTube channel. Yeah, you can correct me if I'm wrong there. Yeah, they are. I think we'll see Jeff, Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks on the call. I want an online one for like. Oh, you get some pretty large deals. Ray J, Princess Love, Josie Canseco, I've won damn near Alex Botez, the players we're talking about. Damn near her. everything in poker. I'm sure Nemo will be back. You know, she won it before, so she's got to come back, right? In the World Series, like 
four. Ouch. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Was it one of the one of the Gronks last time around? Who was having the time of his life? Gordy Gronkowski. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, he, was having, he was having a blast major. up there on the feature table. So yeah. Yes. Time to win it, huh? Oh, working on that. Don't worry. Four. February eighth will be the next working installment on. of the Celebrity Poker Tour. No, I'm tight is right. Tight is right. You're in the running for the Poker Go Cup. Just yeah, win I this mean, thing. we're all alive in that still. So it's yeah. like four more events, right? So you have to cash twice now is the deal, yeah. right? No, twice. Well, you can't win it with one cash. Yeah, yeah you, you have to cash to twice. Cash. You have to cash twice. That's a good rule. Yeah, so that way you can't oh, just, in like order, if, just in case the 50K is like. Like, yeah. or there, like if are there whoever won the biggest 10K. Though? What? Well, they, they have, just because the prize pool's so high and it's. No, no, I'm saying there's no 50K this series. Yeah. There's a Not 25k this year. Oh, there isn't a 50k? No, 25 is the biggest. There's two 15s oh. and a 25. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think the 50s, I'm screwed then. The 50s <laughs> dropped off so much. You've Today's done, the last well 10k. The 50s. Easier to make the FT. I run better. I run better in the 50s and the 100s. People. Or millions. Yeah. I remember like literally being there watching that hand that you had versus Connor. In the million dollar win drop, the aces versus aces. I was like there You're watching. Sweating. Did you have a piece first? No, I was just like I had a piece of, yeah, Connor. No, I had a piece of a guy named Tom Hall. He bubbled, he bubbled that. Oh piece. yeah, I had he, a piece of Connor and I didn't even know him. Somehow I ended up with a piece. Buddy, just take it. <laughs> Connor, Connor, I, I, switch, yeah. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> no, it wasn't one percent. No, I, want, I ended up it's, playing it's Connor. Like, make a good Tom Hall. I know. It, it definitely could have been. I ended up playing Connor in a, it was a, like a PO tournament. We were at a final table together, like maybe like a year later, right after, after the Aces for Aces hands. And uh, he was like really short. He gets it all in. I have Aces. He cracks my Aces. I'm like, all right, well, now we're even. <laughs> <laughs> I just played with him as a win, PLO tournament. He's got to laugh at that one. No, he, he did not find it funny. He didn't find it funny? He had, he had a, after he, all he these had, years? He had, he had a few beverages. Oh. Like, we're Still. Not that's it. What do you mean? That should make it even more like easy to find a phone. <clears throat> yeah. Crazy. You're looser. Funny. More loose. Thirty, right? Okay. Couple of queens again here for carry cats. I just told the chat we went home <laughs> because we, there was so much table talk. <laughs> uh, nine now they're quiet. Cause yeah, Carrie's got Carrie's got queens. Man. This is this is the tell. Exactly. He's just chat chat chat. Oh, queens! I'm gonna shut up. You really need to <laughs> if if you're if you're sticking to the table talk persona, you need to just keep going when you get a big hand. But of course, that's not easy to do. But now that everyone's quiet, it all of a sudden looks like everyone has aces. Awesome's in the big blinds. Gets a nice price here. Oh, excuse me, that coming, yes. Open the door for Kerry Katz here. Is this the uh, saving grace here for Madonzia? Yeah, probably. I mean, I mean, he's. He's newer to the studio, is Madonzi, but one. I, I think he's got to understand how how Carrie plays, and Carrie's probably pretty nutted here with with his range. So, yeah, Madonzi does get out of the way, and so does Osmus. Can we rabbit hunt the flop at least? <laughs> Come on! That was a little too many times. That was a uh, that was medium of the range right there. It wasn't the bottom. It like was ace, medium. Like ace queen up? No, better than that. It was better than ace queen up. It was better than ace queen. I like ace queen up. It was better than Ace Queen off. Carry any commentary? It's, it's better than Ace Queen off. All right, Gary Katz takes that one down without a showdown. If you want to know if that was the right play, check out OctopiPoker.ai. It is your path to poker mastery. Join Octopi's growing community and explore together, free for a limited time. This is the tool that analyzes our live streams. So if you want to go through their database and check in with what they have to offer, just sign up for free at octopipoker.ai. Have you tried it yet, Donnie? I have. I have. I've, I've checked it out quite a bit. What have you What have you gained from it so far? Um, well, 
I mean, they, they have, they have kind of three products. The, the one that I liked is the one it you hit on. That. that is Octopi Poker Base, is, is what it's it called. Um, but it takes, we have a partnership with them, so it takes all of our live stream hands, puts it into their machine somehow, however they want to do it, and then you yeah. can look at, like, kind of hand by hand. I can go to the Octopi site, I can go to the Poker Base, I can type in Daniel Negroni versus Isaac Haxton. It'll give me all the hands that they've already logged and gone through. And it's a growing database, so it's going to get bigger and bigger between Negranu and Isaac Haxton. I can click through those. I can replay them via the hand replayer. I can see how the hand analyzes, how the ranges break down, all that sort of stuff. So it's very cool from, from an audience perspective. You know, if you're a stats nerd li like I am, then you can really dive into things further. It's also really good for a lot of these players, right? Because you can see, like, I think Negranu talked about it recently like he can prepare for a final table by going in there and searching all of my team. against his opponents right so pretty cool technology there that they're building over at Octopi 530 First one's really good i hope the second one's not as good oh, they were both bad <laughs> mine match seven when they call it i show it <laughs> yeah eight Dream show sevens Two takes this one sevens. down. Oops. Adams, you have still comfortable in the lead. Forty percent of the chips in play. I feel as though this is good. I'm getting he's to just a point where I'm gonna holding strong there at the shot. top, keeping his stack intact. Don't worry, blinds are up. Back to shoving. <laughs> With all this I feel talk like about the way that I'm going to win this tournament today, that you guys are just going to do all kinds of battling. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back and then suck out like four times in a row, heads up. I called it, Donnie, earlier. This one worked. Uh, by the way, with all the talk about, you know, the Heads Up Championship back in the day, uh, we also had a PGT Heads Up Showdown. I'd love to hear in the chat how you guys feel about all Heads Up tournaments. Team. Would you like to see more? What format do you like? What are you interested in? It's what, working. What should the buy-in be? Working. Let us know in the chat. We always love your input. In like it's working. Once he's up to $2 million, he'll sit back up. Nice little pick up there for Bream. Three bet jamming, the ace eight off. Always new people in here. Yesterday, two people at my table I've never seen. Today, you know, people want to come check it out, you know? I think. They, they watch it and they're like, go play it. Did you play with that software engineer kid? Which one is that? Maybe. Uh, the one he was to my right at the end of the night, with the gray hoodie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it was like, he was like, this is my first Tenka. I really wanted to play a Tenka. Yeah, he said he wanted to play one Tenka. Yeah, he said he was playing like a nightly the day before at the yeah, win, right? pretty cool. Those are yeah, the great oh, stories. Green, green hoodie? Is that what Gray you hoodie. Gray. gray. Was he yeah, to your right, like at yeah. the final two tables? Yeah, yeah. yeah, the two feet or whatever? Yeah, I don't think he was at your table. No, I played with him earlier, though. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's the bet? 70? I think the player they're talking about is Richard Collins, who made a deep run in this event. No riding the wave. Collins finished in ninth Thought place, so it. got himself a min cash. You can only get away with so much, you know. <laughs> Got to know your limits. Osmus oh. raising it up here with King Eight of Hearts. Madanziev from the big line is going to come along. Ace, seven, ten. Osmus yeah. probably in a good spot to represent that ace there. Maybe take it down on the flop right away. Ace of hearts was in my hand. <laughs> Osmus does 
exactly that. Throws out a small bet and takes this one down. Uh, Osmus sitting on 45 big blinds. Tina Remar short stack with 22 bigs. Seeing some input here in the chat. Virtual Joker says, I'm interested in playing one of these. I just need nine, $9,900 more to enter. Well, <laughs> hey, if you save up a little bit day by day, then maybe you'll get there one day. Uh, Adam says, heads-up tournaments are awesome. Anything 5K plus is great, but the price of running these events might force them so to play 25K. Can be two mixers, two PLOs this year, or just one? I think there'll be two of each. Two of each? Okay. Probably a better question for Tim. Yeah. Uh, Tim mentioned on the stream, Donnie, that means you have to drink a shot. Wow. The Tim, the Tim bingo. If we if we made a a Poker Go Cup or Poker Go Tour drinking game bingo, what should be on the spreadsheet? I feel like a, a Tim mention should be on there for sure. Uh, a Ren Lin impersonation. Yes, Ren Lin impersonation. Gamble too much. Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. It's touchdown Tom Brady. You know. We, we could we could make a Ren Lin bingo if he <laughs> ever makes the final table this year, but um, that has to, has to be on there for sure. This event started with 81 players. We are down to the final five. Madonsiev limped in from the small blind. Osmus on the offensive in the big blind with 8-6 offsuit. But Madonsiev is going to come along. We've got quite a few chips to play for here. King 10, deuce on the flop. Madonsiev flops a pair of tens. Action goes check, check. Nine on the turn. Wadonsiev hits two pair. Osmus picks up some outs. A heart or a seven will give him a better hand. But wow, facing 350, Donnie, this hand could be over right here on the spot. Very well could be. I, I would expect that it is, and, and it is. You know, Osmus, even with that. That eight of hearts in his hand, gutter to the seven, just not enough there for him. What else we got here in the chat? Yeah, a few more people interested in the heads-up format. I'm, I'm a big fan myself. I love brackets. I love to do, like, a prediction where you can, like, fill out your own bracket type stuff. It's a fun sweat. A little bit of March Madness vibes. No raise by me. <laughs> it's gotten pretty quiet. Yeah. I feel like the carry cat's got those queens and everyone just shut up. <laughs> I feel like the players are just focused on the game right now. And with a lot of play still left, you know, it is a spot where your decisions are not very black or white. Here's a look at the format 40 minutes levels, 30 during heads up, shot clock, 20 seconds pre flop, 30 seconds post flop. Hi, Leo. Daddy loves you. I was wondering when we are going to get the shout-out. Yeah. He 
did say he was going to be shouting out Leo on all the final tables that he made. So a little bit delayed, but still coming in. Leo is Chino. Chino's a relatively new son. A couple months. Bring that man a Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Both players with spades here as we go to the flop. Zobian and Madanziev. Ace, four, nine. Two diamonds out there. Like I mentioned before, we have our annual sub giveaway when we get down to three players, and then another one we get down to heads up, so you better stick around for that. Also, please hit that like button. Let's get up to 500 likes. It would be awesome to um, spread the word on this final table, which has been great action so far. Some fun, ha some fun hands, some fun. Good table talk. Kind of goes to show, you know, you tune into these final tables, you, you don't always know what you're going to get. I mean, yeah, there's the chance, you know, you tune in and you know it's Daniel Negroni, like yesterday, right? I mean, that's obviously the draw, but... A lot of other times, you know, there's only one Daniel Legrandi in poker, there's only one Phil Halmy, but that's not to say there's not a lot of very fun players, both personality-wise and then also with their play. This one's had a little bit of both. It's had some good chatter among these players. It's had some fun play, so that's why you always got to tune in. Poker, Poker's fun, man, for everyone. Poker is fun for everyone. All right, chat, do your thing. You know where that's from. Queen Jack off here for Osmus. He's going to get involved. Cats with a couple threes here in the small blind. Elects to make the call. You letting me in? You letting me see? I'll flop you both for cheek. It's very kind of you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Not fun. <laughs> Not fun at all. Oh, you gotta love Chino. You Tends boys to have fun. into the muck. Heads up here between Osmus, the pre-flop raiser, and Carrie Katz. Osmus in position. Five deuce deuce. Two spades. Check calls, 55,000, ace on the turn. Probably a pretty good card here for Osmus to represent. does continue. 140,000 is the bet. Carrie says, I don't believe you. Quick call. King on the river. No action yet from Carrie. All right, he does check. I mean, there's uh, two kinds of heroics possible here. Heroic bluff or heroic call because check back I don't think is an option here for Jeremy Osmonds. No, I mean, I, I think if you're Jeremy, you probably got to fire at this one. I mean, I think Carey calling out of the small blind like he did. Ooh, check behind check and Carey Katz with threes. Ace is good. Ace? Wow. I was going to say, Carey calling on the small blind like he did. 
playing that Ladies hand like he did. I mean, he just has so many threes, fours, sixes, seven. Like that's that's his range there, right? I mean, maybe there's some times he has ace high spades, right? But I, even ace high spades, you might be able to blow him off there on the river, right? Depends right. how good it is. What I find interesting is that Katz is willing to check call the turn and then not believe that he has the best hand that showed up. Mr. Reckless, I know, would have won that pot. It's yeah, kind of interesting. Mr. Reckless well, that I know would have won that pot. There could have been some kings, king jack, king queen, stuff like that, that Osmus hits on the river, just checks behind. So. I, I, look, I had, I had two pairs. Three hands. Two pairs, hard to make. Eight, ace kicker. It's not bad. Straight draws, full house draws. <laughs> A lot of stuff working there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an optimist. You ready? Maybe. I'm ready. Maybe. Down to a blind battle here. My God, I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> now at least yeah. we have a PLO hand. <laughs> at least. Double PLO high wall hand. Single suit, but not. Okay. Last hand of the level announced by the dealer. Let's make it a good one. This time worked well for you, I was. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. That's when I when I fold and I see a hand that I know you're not gonna it's fold. It's good to it's get okay. polarizing hands yes. like the yes. trash and the da. masters. <laughs> Gina Reem showing off his so Bulgarian the masters, language skills. Oh, that's right. Nine, nine, ten, maybe. <laughs> I don't matter. He knows I'm. Jeremy no, knows I'm falling. Don't, don't worry about so me. <laughs> I see out the corner of my eyes. <laughs> I give it away too easy. Hundred. You have raising with queen seven of diamonds. Osmus six four parts in the big blind. Definitely defendable type hand there in position, but Osmus has been slipping lately down to below a million. Brings out seven, three, eight. Osmus with some chances here. But Madanziev, Madanziev flops a pair of sevens. is the bet from the Bulgarian chip leader. And Osmus is going to come along here. Queen of hearts on the turn. Osmus picks up a heart flush draw. Madanziev picks up a second pair. Madanziev continues for 185. Donnie, with Osmus's stack getting smaller, even though his draw is getting better, is this sort of like a ah, I can't I can't really continue here. Spot? Uh, I I think he's Paul, he's still, still, still deep enough here that he are can we on break, here. Paul? We are. Osmus does make the call. 
I guess I got what I asked for. An interesting hand on the final hand before the break. River card is the eight of spades. Now, very hard for Osmus to uh, <laughs> get this one done. All bet here from Madanjeev. I wonder if there's a world where Osmus wants to rep this eight. I mean, he could certainly have one the way that this played out. Feels time, right? And Osmus does let it go. This means we'll be, get, be getting ready for a little a break. Don't go anywhere, though. Action will continue as we will try to find out who will take down event number four of the 2024 Poker Masters. Osmus is short. Reem is short. The other three players have a ton of chips to work with. So it should be an exciting continuation of this final table. We'll be back in a little bit over five minutes. So let's get some snacks. See you in a bit. If you're looking to host and film a poker tournament or just a company gathering, the Poker Go Studio located in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip can seamlessly host your event. With its state-of-the-art control room and a tournament area that fits up to 14 poker tables, there's nothing else in the Las Vegas Strip quite like the Poker Go Studio. Order up and have the day and night of your life. Let's shuffle up and... Damn! For more information, contact us at events at pokergo.com. Brock busted on the big blind, one big one. You ever been to Bulgaria, Jim? I have not, no. Who lost the last hand? Me. Here it comes. <laughs> you? No. no. Yeah, every other That's country in Europe, poker. but just haven't made in it over to Bulgaria. Like, Spent a lot what? of time in Europe. Person who loses the hand before, almost always Through raises Google. the next hand. Through Google, yes. Through Google, Bulgaria looks quite lovely. What? Calling here with the 5-4 suited. It's Jesse with the deuces this yeah. time on the button, Brent. Yeah. Don't let me down, Jesse. Teach him a lesson. Into the mock. <laughs> Horrible. The deuces have gone over the poker. Awful. Cup. 55. As far as participation pre flop. All right. Much to Brent's chagrin. <coughs> Gino in there with the king four suited. Three ways to this flop. Here comes king at seven five. Reem and Osmus flop top pair. It's going to be a bit of trouble. Chino, Aram's got a few things working here, including bottom pair, backdoor yeah. straight, and flush draws. He's the one who bets here on this flop, 55k. Keep an eye on the action. Obviously, Gino not going anywhere with top pair. Now Osmus has to let it all soak in. What sorts of hands could I be up against? Can't imagine fold 
is part of the mindset for Osmus. There it is, just flicking the call, pot control. Let's see what develops. A little texture now on the turn. Turn is the nine Check. of diamonds. Check. It's an interesting one. Clearly, as Zobian picks up that flush draw with Check. bottom pair, and now it's his turn to make a decision. Do we take the equity right to the dome? Understanding we're likely up against some sort of king. You've been called twice after betting this board. We'll check. Where's the queen of hearts? And it's just clean living for Jeremy Osmus, you know? Check. Guy showers check. six times a year and just remains <laughs> remarkably <laughs> beautiful. Look at him. Smells great, plays great, looks great, keeps it simple and easy, wins all the money, Jeff. His eighth career Poker Go Cup cash. Had a second and a first back-to-back -back in 2022, and then two straight thirds at the end, leading him to hoist that cup. Looks for some value here. This sizing, it might, might be hard for Chino to get away from top pair. Going to be very difficult. Okay. You're not betting that. I need you to have that. Let's see if he can find a way out. Should have raised the rum on the flop. I need you to. Flicks in the call, hard to blame him with top pair. Yeah. He'll see the bad news. Awesome, I still drag a nice pot. Welcome back to the PokerGo studio. The event for 10K No Limit Hold'em final table continues as we still have five players in the hunt for the title today. Chino Reem and Jeremy Osmus, arguably the two biggest names at this final table. They are the short stacks, so let's see if they can make a bit of a comeback here in the upcoming 40-minute level. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks are on the call on PokerGo.com. My name is Rem Barinkama. Donnie Peters alongside me as we will call the action here on YouTube and Twitch until we get down to a winner later tonight. $226,800 of top four, the winner, and, of course, the uh, corresponding points that go along with it in the race for that That's big that silver outside. cup. That's you can, like, see your hand. Blinds now 20K, 40K like with a 40K big blind it's, ante. It's really cool. I, I was really impressed. Let's hear it from the people in the yeah. chat. What do, what do you Worth what did you money. grab during the break? Yeah, like what did you get like a during the break? I got myself a like uh, Coke Zero, like one of my favorites. Games, you know? Yeah. And, and uh, you, you get if if it wasn't for Donnie and I making a bucks. wager, yeah. I would have grabbed a snack. But we bet Donnie that we'd be good boys this week. That's right. But on ZF Ace Nine of Spades. Such a beautiful looking hand. Jeff takes it down. Shout out to Russell, one of our moderators in the chat. He's got some grapes and oranges. I was going to check out that Beat Saber game. It's, it's good. Yeah, it's very fun, and um, especially if you're into music, like... Kind of like Guitar Hero, but for drums, sort of? I don't know, Guitar Hero. It's, it's basically like mute, like the thing scrolls down, you have to hit the right Yeah, you have to do and just yeah. also you do some exercise for your body. Yeah, that's but the other thing. Like, I, my heart rate was up. I was like sweating when I was playing oh, the yeah, shooter yeah. games. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you actually like get a little workout. And it's, right. it's important also to have um, some time limits to do it because if you do it so long, uh, head it hurts. kind of affects yeah. you. Mess with your head a little bit. You get dizzy, you get yeah. distracted in real world, so it should be something to be careful. Are they talking about the Arya Knightley? 
Talk about video games. Instead of a whoop. <laughs> and instead of burned 3,000 calories in like a couple hours of playing video games. I don't think it's accurate, but, but like... Playing normal video games? I was playing a, it's Overwatch. It's like really chaotic. Like, But you're sitting like, there, obviously. It's not VR. No, no, yeah, not VR. That seems ridiculous. That seems crazy. Yeah, I don't think it's accurate. I feel like this one's like below the bottom of the range right now for you. <laughs> Good read here for uh, no Chino Reem. I forgot, your range goes from Deuce 3 suited to uh, Aces. It's that's, that's what you can put me on right now, that's that, my range. It's, it's hard to... It's I hard better to, hope it's Deuce 3 diamonds. It's hard to fuck that range up. I would love if you just had top set right now. You can't have Deuce 3 of diamonds. Ooh. Ace 3 then. Oh, what do you have? Threes? Chino I had threes. threes. Takes it down. I did not want to shove the threes. I had overs. <laughs> it's hard not to. David was like, it's her first time in the box. Take it easy on her. You're doing a great job. Average stack still 50 big blinds, so it's a, it's a slow burn. A little you bit of a haircut, different. you know. I know. Never seen it that long. <laughs> I was going to get one today before the Vontae, but I didn't want to be late. He's squeezing. That's really bad. I know already. Yeah. That's a good read. I better fold. <laughs> Jack. Look, Chino does win some additional pots through his table talk. You got some good of table course. talk there, Chino. <laughs> you, got, you, got me to, you got me to fold a hand, a limpable hand, and then you also got me to uh, re-raise into your full house the other day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't win all those tournaments. I got to stop listening to him. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> What'd Carrie, you have? Carrie opens under the gun. I flat, like... Hijacker cut off with tens, heads up, and it comes 10 3 3. He bets 25K. So I made it 50, and he looks at me and says, Carrie, you raised under the gun, so I respected your raise. I was going to three bet you, but instead I just called. And now I'm min raising you to try to tell you I have it. <laughs> <laughs> and he went all in. He went all in. <laughs> it was sweet. I had faith in have? you. Yes. I, I had faith that you could lie that good. <laughs> but you were telling the uh, absolute, it was just complete, candid honesty. <laughs> It was genuine, genuine sincerity. Five. 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 I mean, I he rivered a five too. I actually, I actually think if you had like a ten, I think you have to fold for sure. Oh yeah. There was really only one hand I was worried about. Yeah, ten. You had it, yeah. or if you'd like slow played like you were king. Yeah. I think you gotta do that. Yeah. Tight but then again, in Deuce right. to 7, you were uh, falling for some, some of my speech play. Until you're like, wait a minute, I've heard that speech. I, I, yeah. I'm going to call this time. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't have it. I was like, wait, I remember this. I told you I would never bluff you. I remember saying that he flips over a pair. How about the how about the 10k deuce to seven in the World Series? We weren't even deep. This was like early, but you made a wheel, and I had eight perfect, and you checked the last draw, and I checked behind. Yeah, that was ridiculous. That was fucking you, you, beautiful. You're, you're such. That you're was. You're such a tight ass. That was beautiful. What happened? He re raised that was one ball. We just like we put in a lot of bets pre, and like both drew one, and then I made it and bet and stood made eight pat. perfect. I made eight perfect. <coughs> and the river, one, one, and he, he checked. And the river, he checked blind though. But like I knew he had a good draw, you know. Yeah, he yeah. He checked right. blind. He checked blind. He didn't like squeeze and check. Wow. Yeah. You and I was actually, you should not be proud of that check. I was so proud of that you check. You shouldn't be, because <laughs> like ninety percent of the time you're wrong. So proud of it. And I had no chips. 
But the 10% feels so good. The 10% oh, uh, felt so good. It overcomes the 90. That was just, it was stupid that I checked. I checked in the dark. <laughs> Was that that was a limit? Right? It was limit, yeah. yeah. Mike uh, Manasso was on our table. Wait, it was limit. Oh, it was. We're playing the 10k oh, deuce through seven. No, no, 10k triple. Oh no. No, he's not, no. He's not checking that. That's why. Are you kidding like, me? Jesus. Okay. That, I thought there was like ra all these raises. No, no, no. 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 I guess that makes sense. It's limit. I mean, you know, I'm short. I'm drawing to a seven. Probably. Yeah. Of course, I'm. Yeah. Thousand percent, you had to been drawn to a seven. You saved two bets. Yeah. I mean, your tight ass would have just folded when I checked rage. <laughs> yeah, I would have tanked, not liked it. I don't know. If I bet, yeah, no, no, I fold, yeah. If you check raise, I would have folded, yeah. So far, every time, first card is under a five. But then I would have told you that I never bluff you. Yeah. I only had like, I, also, I only had like three bets left. Yeah, so losing two of those last three is just devastating. Yeah, yeah. And the pot was big enough. Did you cash that one? No, no. I was I busted like freaking before late reg. Did you? What else you have with ducks here? Raising it up, and that three looked like a close one there. You had a good oh. World Series last summer, right? Because the like one of the first events you came second for like a well, million. Yeah, yeah, I got second in the hundred k, so that yeah. makes it makes it a, makes, yeah, it, it, makes, a good, it, makes it a good year. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> really. exactly. What sec? What that pay? One six. Yeah. yeah. Zobian. Who won it? Came along. A six. Jan something. Ninety. Yeah, I got lucky to get second. I just folded the second. He was, what your plan? He had me four to five in chips. Happy with second. Sure. Donnie, slowly but surely, Madanziev is starting to get out of reach here for these guys. He's yeah. up to five million now. I feel like, in a way, they're kind of busy chit chatting. And he's the just focused bombs. on the task at hand. Pretty you know, good. he hasn't. Yeah. He gets a little bit with Osmus about the he video game stuff, but other than that, sure. you know, he's just been collecting yeah, pots. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you're 100 percent right. The other guys are worried about you know TV no, ratings and who beat carry heads up for a bracelet. You know all the, all this other I stuff. I mean, he played <laughs> the last chance stuff. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he was he here for the last chance. Jason. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. Of, we got a lot of poker up. in January. Yeah. And then Rinlin beat Jason heads up in the 50 at the win. <laughs> he was not happy. <laughs> those are big, big. Those are both still fucking big scores. But yeah, he would have liked. They keep getting hands on your blind. Yeah. King Jack of Diamonds here for Chino Reem. Very workable off the 17 big blinds. Seven let's, let's not forget yeah. Osmus now down to 11 big blinds. And Aram Zobian picks up pocket kings in the small blind here. How often are we just calling here as Madanziev is, is, I mean, I don't know what that was. Was that a meditation? 205. What did, what did Helmuth call it? The, the Micro naps or whatever. What oh wow, yeah, micro naps. <laughs> I'm a big fan of micro naps. Whenever the action is on Christoph Vogel saying, I take one. Three bet the 205. Chino Reem, a sticky player. This uh, bit of a trouble situation. Fuck, I can't believe I'm folding this shit, dude. Pocket nine? No. I wouldn't. I fucking wish I had pocket nine, but I'm just fucking. King and a queen? King, king and a queen? King and a jack, suited, diamonds. You got like 12% equity? 
And then I'm glad I folded. <laughs> in position with the 80 in, it just feels like it's like fucking like you're supposed to do it, you know? It just feels like you're supposed to do it. Yeah, should have done it. <laughs> it's probably a better spot. King Jack of Diamonds. Chino Reem, not happy to fold. I mean, can you ever be happy when you have to fold? I don't know. No. He's getting frustrated. Especially two suited Broadway cards. Know. Come on. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you're enjoying the show, all we ask for is please <laughs> like the video and subscribe yeah. to our channel. Hit that notification the, uh, bell so you know whenever our next video is can. launching. Helps us a lot. For those painful folds situations like that one right there. Just so the commentators could have one more thing to go, ooh, and Chino, what, I'll flop the round. Oh, the rap, oh, OK. <laughs> I thought you meant show my cards. No, 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 just, just rabbit the flop. Who cares what comes on the flop? It just matters if you made the right decision. A lot of viewers probably like to oh, see play? that, right? Like non real poker, you, you know, used to have the casual WSOP, viewers. Right? WSOP used to do it. Like WSOP, WSOP day, used to do it. WSOP. Doc. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, WSOP, yeah, yeah. like ESPN. when you watched yeah, it, yeah, you used to do it. Yeah, I remember that. Like, oh, you would have. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's probably good for probably people like it. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's another thing to, to like throw shit at the players for it. <laughs> yeah. You would have got there. <laughs> there was a camp, they would just go like that. Right? Yeah. So, how old are you, Shane? 43. When was, how old were you when you played your first tournament? Woo. 15. 17. <laughs> Florida? Oh, like my first actual, like, real tournament? Yeah. Uh, 18. 18. Where? Florida. Florida, yeah. Florida. When is the movie coming out about My the first, life like, of Chino Reem? We went to we went to Hustler. Went to California. Me me, Robert Mizraki. What was the buy-in? Five hundred dollars, I think. I think it was five hundred dollars no limit. How exciting it, was that? And and I got it all in with Ace King and did not know I won the hand. Like, but like an ace and a king or something. And Rob was on the table, he was like, bro, you won. I was like, let's go. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea I won the hand. You cash? Uh, I don't think so. Robert did though. I was amazed that Robert, because we went there. <laughs> Look at his hand in. All the way. We've been playing 25 years. So you know, a long time. Yeah. We we walked into the hustler and um, all I remember was like um, Scotty Wynn and like Kathy Liebert was another one. Mike Mattis out. They all walked up to Robert like, hey Robert. Like they all knew who he, Rob was, you know. Mm -hmm. And I just remember like before I ever took that trip, like I'd see all these people on TV and shit, and I was like in awe, you know. I was like, Rob, they all fucking know who you are. How'd how do you meet? How do you know Rob? From in Florida. We, I, I, before Hard Rock, they used to have a really, the original Indian casino was called Seminole. It was like a really small card room. Oh, yeah, I met, yeah. I met him there. Down the street, right? Yeah, right down the street. I met him at that one 20 something years ago, yeah. First live cash at Chino Reem, June 2004. And he invited me to his home game. He had a home game. He invited I was the I was the spot. <laughs> Bro, I didn't have a clue. I was the spot. Yeah, but that was a good way to learn playing with those guys. Yeah. Expensive way. It's funny. The first event he cashed in was a $90 tournament at Hollywood Park in Inglewood. And then his very Is next cash, cash game player? was a game year player later so at the EPT Grand Final uh, in of Monaco. The <laughs> of the, of, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah. What a life this man has had. Grinder's good too, but yeah. What is that? One, 110 is the bet? Okay. I fold. It's kind of cold here, huh? Cold? All right. My hands at least. Oh. <laughs> we figured it out. 
He was blowing on his hands because they were so cold. <laughs> Are you kidding that, me? That's surprising, Ken. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it gets very cold in Bulgaria. Yeah, it gets. We have four what seasons, the winter yeah. is cold. It's snowing right now. <clears throat> That's true, I know. Usually my hands get uh, cold very fast. I'm oh just yeah. trying to see. Zobian and Osmus here, potentially clashing, Donnie. What, is Osmus really thinking about shoving him? All in. Oh, wow, he does move all in. Zobian with the snap call, and out of nowhere, Jeremy Osmus, tournament yeah. life on the line. He is all in for 11 big blinds, and he's going to need some help here. I don't know. Oh, I know this. I know, it's like I have nothing. I, I can stop on you, maybe. But I might just have a best hand. Yeah, I just have Jack. Yeah. All right, let's see the flop. Come on. Ace nine oh, seven go, 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 rolls go. off the deck. You do? Oh, I'm saying if you just call, you go looking for yeah, a five yeah. or running straight cards. I don't know. Maybe I check the hole. <laughs> Turn card. Six. Is the seven of clubs. No clubs to speak of here. Picked up four outs. Some chop outs here for Osmus. Picked up eight outs. Oh, yeah. Four, yeah. Let's see the river card. It's the four of diamonds. Game, and that is exactly what Aram Zobian was looking for. Jeremy Osmus sent to the rail in fifth place. Great showing again for Osmus. He takes home 56,700 as we show his fifth. elimination a lot of graphic it's a on lot the of, screen here. A lot here. of metas right there, though. You get, you get your boy. Zobian chips up to 2.6 million. Good photo. That's no. A, that's a photo of someone who's been eliminated. I don't know. Where? All right, we are down to the final four. Chino Reem. On 15 big blinds, hey, he's going to want to double up have, real soon. So far, it's Badanziev's tournament to like lose here. Huh? Sitting on 50% of the like chips in play. You said I had 12%. I was joking. Oh, wow. I, I, I was ahead? I have king three suit. Did you really? No. <laughs> I would have believed you. You'll see it. Because you're You'll my friend. It. You'll see it in a bit. I mean, that's why I asked. So you could tell me. I mean, if... If I had like kings, why would I tell you? I, mean, I feel hurt that you didn't give me your stack. You know? But then I took his, so butterfly. Am I now. supposed to give you my stack with King Jack Suited right there? Uh, it depends on my mood. No, like <laughs> uh, Gary Katz finds you know? two red know, queens. Yeah, you might be supposed to shove. Supposed to shove that. Is it? <laughs> I don't think it is. Maybe I think Bulgaria. Katz says. makes it 80k. Chinarim on his talking chair. Shoves. What about see a flop? I wouldn't have been that bad. I was thinking about I'm, that. I'm shocked you didn't see it. I was definitely thinking about that. that price, yeah. King 3-3. Three, three. And I just go, good game. Good game. Action on Madalciev with King 5 off. Interesting. He made the call here with King 5, Donnie. Something tells me you might feel that... Like he How thought he was raising, felt when you checked against Carey. but Carey yeah. raised yeah. because a, there's a, a dead blind here. Yeah, I mean, unless he has some sort of That's crazy aspirations. <laughs> you, know. fold. you saw I counted it out. I was like, ten, how ten, much four. do I have left? On the flop here. Do you think Mad Madanziev is realizing this right now in this moment? He doesn't I'm need not exactly sure. I feel like, I, I don't know. He tossed out 80K, <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> It's it's definitely a raise if there's no action in front of him. But this becomes more interesting now that Kerry has a really strong hand. Katz makes the call. Deuce of diamonds on the turn. Madanziev looking for a king. And we have this tricky mental game potentially going on. I feel like you have to know because if you throw out 80... Right, and Kerry doesn't throw out more chips. Yes, exactly. <laughs> then you should just be like, wait, he, but he didn't call. But yep. the dealer's running the flop. So, you and know. he's also never limping the button. So, yeah. At least not with King Five off. 
interesting situation here. And Madanziev is going to continue firing here. It's interesting from both sides here as Katz must also wonder. Actually, from Katz's perspective, it just looked like Madanziev called his race. Yeah, Katz has no idea, right? I mean, he's just he's playing his hand as he best sees fit. Let's see the river card. It is the three of clubs. Madanziev left with just king high. Kerry Katz has been in check call mode on flop and turn. Probably see him check again here. Cat's taking his time here, taking more time than on the previous two streets. A million in the middle here. This is a big one. Look at Cat's deciding to lead here. Looks like 650 perhaps. Oh, look at that well, smile. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't saw you raised. I thought I'm on the bottom. Huh? I thought you're a big blind. You thought I was the big blind? <laughs> I mean, che I check. <laughs> 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 All right, well, there it is. We got to clear it up. Kerry Katz yeah. takes this one down and chips up very nicely through our chip leader. The first significant pot that Madanziev has <laughs> lost. Cats back up to Ooh, 60 big like lines. The, the race. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sort of surprised to see Cats lead here. But not calling him. Let's click. It's a pretty good plot for me. I had a ton. Seemed like it. Two fours, you're saying? Deuces. Deuces? Oh, look at this. Queens four, now for Give Chino Ream. <laughs> Chino Ream has been race much. folding quite a bit. Now, of course, he is hoping that someone is going to stick it in. I don't see if. I keep getting hands on your big blind, Kerry. Sorry, bud. Oh. As long as you keep winning pots, though, it's, it's not so bad. Yeah, all right, there you go. More speech play. Keep I getting hands on your block. That was a pretty good, that, you had me beat. I had oh, 200. Show the queens. I didn't read about the king 4-0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I would go through that one. It doesn't get through that time. Six thirty behind. Thank you. That's a good eye, bro. Thanks. How'd you know this was five fifty? Good eye. Can't be too far off. I mean, it could have been five hundred though, you know. Very good eye. Thank you. Thank you. At least with contacts on. I'm legally blind. Drive the car or anything. Really? Wow. Nope. Not without help. Not without the contacts? Or glasses. Do you drive with glasses? <laughs> Depends where I'm going. Buddy. Chin room still Isn't looking honest, for Blair? some serious help. Aces. I haven't, f I've never followed so many uh, suited big blinds in my life. So we got about 10 million in chips in play. So I don't know if it'll finish at the 100K level. 
100 big still. Who knows the future? Definitely a lot more room to play here as the average second up to 63 big blinds with four players remaining. Still a lot of focus on Chino Reem, who is the short stack with 15 bigs. If Chino were to go bust and the stack sizes st stay relatively similar to what, what they are that, now. Carrie? What? We have a really <laughs> crazy right. three-handed battle call? on our hands. Delayed oh, wow, here lift. it is. Chino Reem finds ace-king of spades. And Katz just with the button limp here, Donnie. How do we interpret that? I, I think these players have a good idea how Kerry approaches these tournaments, and there is going to be a lot I'm of limping for him. him. Fuck it. I'm just doing that. <laughs> what is this? Uh, like Tyrion faking, faking okay, you uh, weakness? Okay, you folded ace what? Three. Nice dude. Wow. You're ahead. <laughs> I'll just see. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'll just throw this one. I don't know what to do either. I make it 200, you call, and neither one of us flop anything, and I just don't know what to do anymore. I'm glad I won. Yeah, you, you say you would have known exactly what to do with that. Yeah, point. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Machine Reem has a whopping 16 yeah, live good. tournament Same wins. Money. He's 43, Donnie. Poker Hall of Him hasn't like called yet. Excitement. I yet. <laughs> uh, close to four, I think. No, one. 3.8, 4 4.2, 4 4.5, 4.7. Wow, that's a lot. How about like 40%, 30%, 20%, 10%? Chop? No, I'm saying <laughs> that's like the chip stacks right now, oh. I think. You got less than 10. Whatever, yeah. Sorry to break you. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have more soon, though. Uh, I'm going to win some small balls. Fuck it, I'm all in. Here it is, ace-jack offsuit. Chino Reem all in. Really? Well, like, when I say you might win some small balls, I don't plan on losing all in to you. All right, <laughs> seven something. 18 bigs, Donnie. Is this 25. a call with king queen? 750. King queen suited, 50. yeah, I think, oh. I think you might put this I didn't realize here. I had that much. Close. <laughs> Can I tell you what's going to happen? What's going to happen? If you fold, I'm going to win. If you call, I'm going to double up. No. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Say what you will. Sheena Reem is bringing the entertainment to this Stretching final table. Jack, oh. And a double up right now would probably make him even more talkative. So I don't know. I don't want to be biased, but that's what I'm rooting King for. King Jacko? I like King Jacko. Maybe like threes. I don't see how I fold, so I'm gonna call. Ace Jack, I'm alive. Okay, Zobian does make the call. King Queen versus Ace Jack. It's a fair fight. It's a flip. Leo, Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you, and he's it's out. No longer in his hands, but out and forth. <laughs> Whatever happens, yeah, you can't pull that. <laughs> Aram Zobian, you are already my favorite. announcing Chino Reem's departure. Well, let's see five first and find out. Here comes the flop. Chino Reem at risk. Come on. Ace, king, uh, six. Like if it comes ace, five, two, it's just, come on. King, queen are the cards that Club? Zobian is looking for. Reem well in the lead here. Five of hearts on ace the turn. Ace, five, two. 1.5 million in the middle here. Queen of hearts. Potentially a huge queen double up for Chino Reem. Could really change Good, the way this well. final table will play out. River is the eight of clubs. Donnie, Chino Reem does a neat exactly. talking chips, but uh, something tells five, me six, that seven, these are he did say the talking he chips. I did. He said he's going to have more soon, and he's got more. I said, Chino. Thank you, bud. All right, Chino Reem with a nice double up. We are still four-handed. Lots of play left here at this final table presented to you here by Octopi Poker. Check them out, octopipoker.ai. Stoyan Madanziev is still our chip leader. He's been cruising at the top of the counts all day so far. It's going to be hard to stop him, but there are three players left who are still going to do their best to take some chips from his stack. My name is Rem Gorinkama. I got Donnie Peters alongside me. If you have questions for us, please send them in the chat. It's awesome to have the ability 
to call the action on these final tables. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Let's bring this thing up to 500 no, likes. We got two giveaways coming up later in the show. When we get, get down to the Brian final happy. three, and when we get down to heads up play. So don't miss out. Stick around. Enjoy the show. I predicted Chino Reem heads up versus Badanziev. In the chat, you guys now have four players to pick from, which is, I, I made this call with six what left. What did I Just shove? Like want to put that out there. What is that, like 18 but, uh, bigs or something? Make your predictions. 18.75. Donnie, who you got? Heads up. Clean suited. I have Katz and Madanji. Okay. With your stack, you're still in. Is that, is that Ren Lin style? Yeah. A uh, full to heads up? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> With Ladonzi have uh, scores from the past, as well as his success here inside the studio this week, I can only imagine that we are looking at a a sort of a mainstay name for 2024. I feel like we're going to say this name a lot more, and j based on what I've seen from him so far today, this guy could really become a big star. Have fun, gentlemen. <laughs> King Queen versus King Queen. One of my favorite scenarios where both players have the same hand. In this case, Madanziev has to be the favorite. He's a bit more aggressive post flop. And uh, three, six, seven with two diamonds is going to help Katz a lot. So all of a sudden, this hand's becoming a lot more interesting. It's going to continue betting. Cats just with the call. Turn is at five of hearts. Given that Katz is in the blinds, is that going to make Madanziev slow down here because he's going to have to give him more credit for a hand that connects here? Yeah, probably. I mean, I could see a world where Madanziev just continues betting. I mean, how many combos of fours are really in the range of carry Katz? Ace four suited and pocket fours is, is it, maybe? Katz is going to come out here bluffing. Do you like this bluff? Don't hate it. Maybe you can fold out some ace eyes. doesn't really have a hand that makes it easy to call, but judging by his focus, maybe a bluff raise? a way to win this one but I have a feeling he might not have too many good options here cats let as well the last time when they made it to the river then he got shown or I, I guess cats did not show his queens but 
He also decided to fold. I feel like raising is not out of the question. The way that he's looking, I'm going to go like full Mike Caro here. I was going to say, that's all of Carey's <laughs> board. Yeah, he hasn't played with me, though. He doesn't know, that, he doesn't know that's my range. <laughs> was it the good range? Only thing you could beat was, well, only thing you could beat was a missed diamond draw. Uh, there, there's a lot, of, a lot like this, man. What? There are a lot like this on this board. Uh, I think you owe three. Yeah. I need a space. All right, Carrie Katz takes that one down. King Queen versus Queen. King Queen always good to win one like that. Here's a look at the Carrie Katz stats of the last five years. I mean, consistency is key. Always rake it in the dough. 2019, of course, being a stellar year, cashing for 10.7 million. But last year also extremely strong, 4.1 million added to the total. Katz closing in on a spot in the top 10 of the all-time money list. At his current rate, this year might be the year if he's able to get a few big scores. Did you want me to call? Of course. All I needed, all I needed was a three, fours, I fives, guess, uh, sixes, sevens, eights, nines, tens. Yeah, yeah. Bad shape. They are old, yeah. Not a lot of hands you could beat. Nice hand. Ace three suited. That, that's trips. King, Queen of Diamonds, probably could be that one. So been raising it up with 10-8 suited. What did you have? Queen, 9. Ace high. I'm in a hand. Huh? I'm in a hand. Oh, OK. He's in a hand. He only, he only takes information. He doesn't give it. You see, Gino, you should learn from that. Yeah. You give way too much. Information. I give way too much. You're way too generous. <laughs> You hit King Queen of Diamonds, is that what you're saying? I mean, I hit a buff catcher, obviously, yeah, but yeah. I guess it doesn't. I mean, that's a hand he could beat. Right? Ace five. He could, beat, he could beat a diamond draw, that was it. I didn't hit a diamond in me. And I, you know, if I had a diamond draw, I'd probably raise the flops. Just take it down there. <laughs> all I knew is that was all your board, for sure. Yeah, Chino would have folded tents on that board. <laughs> Wouldn't you? I wouldn't. Uh, I would have just checked all the way through, hoping to get it get cheap. Oh, okay. Then you would have called because yeah. the over bet would have been smaller. Yeah. I would have played it as to where I could pay and see. Because that's what you put me on, like six, seven suited every hand, or five, six suited. I'm uh, not in final tables. I need higher standards than that. <laughs> Depends on your mood. Huh? Zev looking to play a flop here yeah, right, Kerry, out of position against while. Zobian. Yeah. It would been helpful if he had busted then. <laughs> a little faster, maybe. Then again, maybe it'll speed things up. You got really lucky to win that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really lucky. You got really unlucky to get such a good hand. Yeah. So bright. Small pot here. Let's see if Zobian wants to take a stab with 9 6. Neither player with a bet. We're going to see the turn. It's the five of clubs. How many more hands? One more. Oh, just said three. 
Three more, I guess. I guess we're approaching another two, blind four, three, increase. Of two, five. Yeah, around. Well, I guess 25% I put me in. <laughs> <five. laughs> yeah, the last time you said that. Then you want a pot. You like the Monkey Tilt logo? Yeah, it's cool. Do you play on there? Do you it, hasn't, do? it hasn't launched yet. Oh. It's only for uh, it's only for um, casino stuff. Players outside the U.S. Oh, okay. Just like GG. I mean, they'll have three products in the United States. <coughs> I think they'll have like a Prize Picks type product too. Ooh. I guess it is for U.S. Right on ZF, Ace Ten off. It's gonna come in with the raise. Attacking the blinds and no one's home. Everything goes into the muck. Donnie, I feel like we're sort of coming to a standstill here after the Chino Ring double. Last Chino hand. is now comfortable. He's just sitting back a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna be here for probably six more hours. <laughs> well, at least, at least. I mean, they're so deep. It's not gonna be like the the Jared Ble Blesnick uh, PLO Super High Roller Bowl. It could be. The average stack is 62 big blinds. I've never had 62 big blinds on me. I don't even know what that means. This is <laughs> We're not even at the level where we started yesterday's final table. That's wild. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to call my fiance to let her know that I won't be home for dinner. I mean, someone got to get Maury on the phone. Tell him he's got to bring the crew dinner because, I mean... Yeah, we gotta. <laughs> we, I'm trying to, I'm trying we ain't to, getting out of here anytime soon. I'm trying to our <laughs> only hope, our only hope, is that the players want to get into the next event so they do oh, something deal wise. Because th there is the registration cutoff, right? Which is right around oh. five o'clock Vegas time. So, Zobian raising it up to 90k. Cats with Ace King. Chino finds a seven. Could Chino get himself into trouble here? I mean. A little bit, yeah. I would say the trouble that he would get himself into here is similar to the trouble he got himself into with the King 4 earlier. Remember that three-way hand with Jeremy Osmus and Aram Zobian where he's calling out of the big blind with a hand that might not play so well multi-way, and then maybe he flops top pair, but he's crushed by cats. So that would be the trouble I would see for, for Chino Reen here. Three, nine, four, two diamonds on the flop. Jack. Sort of surprised to see cats slow play this against Zobian. Zobian now with initiative. Donnie, are we are we ever continuing here with with king queen three handed on this on this type of texture? I think Zobian is kind of prone to to continue at, at times. You know, this might be just a check back spot. I am very surprised that this was just flatted from carry cats pre flop. This is a board here now where, well, I mean, Kerry's going to come betting, but I was going to say Chino Reem could take the initiative here. Just him being the third one in there from the big blind. Now, of course, the situation changes with Cats coming out betting. I mean, good timing on Cats' part with asking High, having the best hand and having both your opponents crushed. I mean, this is, this is probably just going to work. Yeah, definitely. No, I would have called it too. Yeah, I'll show you the bad one. Zobian with the quick fold. That's a good one. Carry That's Cat's showing. One. Interesting tactic. Yeah. No. Got to check. I had the ace of clubs in my hand. Good job. All right, here it is. Blinds up to 25K, 50K. I had the ace of clubs. If we look so down do something the list flop. of blind levels, the one that I we finished in I didn't. last night is not even on the screen yet. It's 100K, 200 k I feel like you had like an ace and a jack there. Carry. If you raise, you think I'm calling? Uh, I think if I raise, I'm in trouble. I thought you were going to raise. I thought about it. You can't raise. Ace eight. A7. Unsuited? Off, off, yeah. off. I didn't even want to call preflop, to be honest with you. I'm like, how am I? How's this supposed to be a fold? 40 in. The big, you know? Price is right. Price was right. Yeah, the price was excellent.
Why? Why? Don't worry about this. He's 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 acting. Very defendable queen out of spades here for Madanziev. Yeah, but if you do notice, Ar Aram Zobian, a couple times so far at this final table, he's been coming in for a little bit of larger sizing when it has been Madanjiv's big blind. Because they are so deep, Madanjiv be being very deep himself, like he can defend pretty wide from the big blind. So knowing that, I think Zobian's you know, kicking it up a little bit when it is his big blind specifically, just kind of presenting or pr trying to prevent, you know, some some wider flats, narrow that range a little bit. The queen nine of spades, though, is, is of course defendable for a little bit larger sizing, so. Check fold there from the chip leader. Donnie about players wanting to get into the next event the chase for the points is of course a crucial part of this cup series it's eight events the overall winner gets the trophy and the cash nice. prize right yeah $25,000 bonus prize this season the, the bonus prizes are in the in the form of what we call PGT passports Meaning they're they're basically tournament dollars to then you know play into these PGT events again, which you know for <laughs> the majority of these players, pretty much all of them, I mean it's as good as cash, right? Cats here, a couple of queens opened it up. Zobian defended it from the big blind. Middle set here for carry cats. Zobian checks cats quickly bets and Zobian's putting his hand into the muck. Buttons right. Gotta throw it a little higher. Huh? Yeah, throw it a little higher. Can't, Can't catch, catch that low. Durza says, where's the action? This is a snooze fest. I mean, this is serious money on the line, serious points on the line. These players, of course, are picking their spots. And, uh, of course, this is the opposite from what we One, had three, yesterday, five, where five? every third hand there yeah. was an all-in. So I guess yeah. we can. We, you can never do it right, Nani. You can never do it just right. No. Nope. Uh, interesting poll results so far. The the people are going to the polls, and they're saying. When is our break? Carrie Katz. this level. Thirty-four percent to win this tournament. He's the, the leader yeah, in the poll. Give us one every hour. Oh, if, he keeps, if he keeps getting queens, I mean. It's how good how to how have you on the final table with this bot. <laughs> Chinorim <laughs> is uh, second in the poll. Madanziev third. And Aram Zobian just 6%. Well, I guess everyone's hating on Zobian. Yeah, huh? why, why are we hating on Zobian? Button race here from Madanziev. And Kerry Katz defending from the big blind. He's got two threes. Six, six, deuce, one club. Catch checks. One hundred K is the bet, and Cats quickly calls five on the turn. That puts Madanjeev in front. He's got a better two pair. Check here on the turn. And a three comes in on the river. Full house for Carrie Katz. Must be nice. 
and Cats immediately reaching, betting just 100k. Is that far enough? Bad news for the Bulgarian. 700,000 is the raise. This is massive. Kerry Katz checking back his cards. I guess we could see him move all in here. Are we worried about a straight flush or, <laughs> or something along those lines? Wouldn't mind a, a click back here. Make it like 1.3, 1.4. And Katz comes in with a re raise over the top again. Alarm bells must be going off for Bodanziev. He did click it, 1.3. I like it. I nice like hand. it a lot. And Bodanziev lets it go. Carry Kerry Katz. Anything above a six. Kerry Katz changes <laughs> the lead awesome. here at this final <laughs> table. So any the, card above a six. For oh, the I always <laughs> have it. For the first time since uh, I know the start of this final table. Board too. You got to be careful with those boards with Kerry. He doesn't. He hasn't played with me. He doesn't know. Yeah. We're 58 hands He's into learning. this no, final table. Help. Kerry Katz now chip leader <laughs> with 3.8 million chips. He's the chip leader. Interesting speech. I guess the chat knew more than we did. <laughs> they could see the future. Okay. Clearly, our our feet is lagging behind. I, I took Chino's advice to just the one. Future is now. This time. Oh, the chance to raise it. Yeah. But, you know, it was good. That's good coaching. So I guess you're coaching. You're coaching everybody. Meanwhile, the who lost fifth the last hand? event is see. You thought I was. Right you thought I was making that up. The final Happens 10k the of the series before we go up to a 15k buy-in. So far, right. 52 entries with registrations still open for quite some time. Let's do 15 Ks are going to be sheriff fun. In town. Oh yeah, it's a new sheriff in town. Some names in the early goings of that 10 K events: Chitwick, Dylan, Lindy. We have Alex Foxen in the mix, of course. Lucky Chew, Kristen Foxen, Jay Little, back in the house. Thirsty well. outlaw. Check. Am I the chip leader? You are. Oh, cool. Cool. Five, six, seven, 3.7. Listen to Marty Robbins. Who? Marty Robbins. No. What is that? It's like a Westerner guy. Big Iron. Uh, classic. Is it country music? I don't know if it's country. It's like, uh, I guess, some songs. It's like gunslinging. You had me prefer. Romance. Huh? You had me prefer. Nice that sounds hand. like country. <laughs> Are like guns over there? Um, Chino Reem back down to the bottom of the counts on 22 bigs. Hasn't been able to get anything going since getting that double up. He's still up from the start of the day. He's won 11 hands. Zobin has won 11 hands as well. Katz has won 12 and Medanziev has won 18. So Medanziev definitely the most aggressive player at this final table. And it was it was all trending in his direction until that most recent hand in which Kerry Katz made a full house. Was it five six off or was it six three suited? I can't tell you, Gino. 
100,000. Or was it just Kerry just knew? He just knew and he he knew he could pick it up. What could you possibly call with on that? Not flush? I don't know. Yeah. Cats raising it up with 9-6 offsuit on the know. button. You're real sick if you got like a set of, if you got trip sixes. Yeah. You're, 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 beating, you're like not happy. Right with, with queen seven of yeah, spades. Yeah. Comes along. Let's see a flop. Two even stacks, two deep stacks. Flop brings out jack 10-8, two diamonds. Check. Check. Quick check check here. Straight draws going into different directions here. Arrived on the river, queen high, excuse, uh, queen high good here. Cats sure. with the double check, making really sure. Not. That six is not a diamond, and it is indeed a heart, so he lets it go. Madanziev, who uh, handed Katz the lead there for two, two hands. Now the Bulgarian back in the lead. Look at that impressive stat winning of the 2020 online WSOP main event for 3.9 million. Tony, the pandemic 2020 feels like forever ago. Big lay down there? Huh? You said big lay down? No. What is the big, <laughs> the big one? Seven. <coughs> the first thing I think of when I think back of the pandemic and just being home all the time is the amount of pizza. I would get delivered to my house <laughs> and the amount of red wine that I drank during the first few months of the pandemic. G give me, I mean, I know, serious topic. It was horrible, of course, but for those that were just in their own house doing, doing whatever they were doing, what, what are some memories you have of that pandemic era? I would, oh, wow. Me and my fiance, we ate so much pizza. <laughs> it's absurd. One time, okay, one time we ordered from that place, Anthony's, that's now no longer in business and I ordered one large pizza and they delivered one extra large family sized pizza <laughs> and it was bigger than my fiance's coffee table like it, it could not fit on the coffee table Jeez. that's how big it was and it was cut into squares <laughs> it was clearly for like a party of six <laughs> you better believe the two of us finished that off in two days there you go uh, meanwhile there's some poker being played Reem with the raise pre-flop 120, Zobian with the call. Check, check on the flop, by the way. Zobian with a mystery card, hoping for him that that's a club. Zobian with 250, Reem with ace high. Looks like he might come along. I should have just shoved pre flop again. Fuck, just take it. <laughs> just fucking take it. <laughs> well, it worked. Chino Reem. Is that in your hand or on the river? With the way things river. are going. We rabbited. All right, we are still four-handed here at the Bokeville Cup, but that means you got to stretch your limbs sometimes. Donnie, are you? Oh yeah, Donnie is playing along. He's participating. He's got up out of his chair. <laughs> All right, a little bit of these uh, side-to-side swingy things. Can we do some push-ups too? Maybe. He looks kind of like a Dragon Ball Z character at this point. Aram Zobian, the healthiest player at this final table, without question. 
I mean, honestly, not a bad idea to keep the blood flowing a little bit. And uh, we all know that, you know, Helmut likes to do his his breathing exercises on break. <laughs> Aram Zobian so likes to stay to limber. River. I take the Patrick or Leonard approach when I play. The Patrick, like a, like a I bet the fast the walk on the break? Every time you're under the gun, you do? once you oh. fold, stand up from your chair. About that, obviously. And like kind of just like, you know, maybe do some stuff like Aram did there. Oh, shake it out, I knew move I had around, a black get the ace, blood flowing, like, stretch oh, the this legs. Is gonna be a fun sweat. Get back yeah, down for that big students, blind because you know. usually <laughs> the big blind is like probably your largest V-pip. Was right? the eight o'clock in your hand or the Constantly river? defending, stuff like that. You got the big blind, the small blind, and the button coming up. I don't know, I didn't see if you pulled it out or not. I'm not much of a magician. Gotta be focused, ready to go. Also, that was in your hand. All right, so whatever, either way. I do love it though when you're playing at like Venetian and they actually run it out for you. Like, yeah. Yeah, like straight flush draw. Or when you really feel like you win it all in, but they they fold. And you're like, <laughs> King Jack of Clubs. Madan Zief comes in for the raise. Nothing for Zobian. Nothing for Cats. All right, moving on. Next hand. If you're in the chat with us, play. let's bring it up to Here. 500 likes right. on the video. Genuinely. We're close. We're so close. What's your happiest poker memory? I don't know. My happiest poker memory? First event at Seminole. Huh? First event at Seminole when you won the Ace King. No, that was that was a uh, hustler. Probably making the final table the main event was was like surreal, you know, yeah. at that moment. Especially like with the day off. Yeah, yeah, that was like that was that was all surreal, all that. So hype, yeah. yeah. Where'd you finish? Seventh. Day off? He had, didn't he have months off? He had months <laughs> off. <laughs> I probably watched that shit when I was like. Yeah, what, yeah. What year did you? Have? 2008, bro. So I was. 15 years ago. <laughs> so yeah, crazy. I was 13. <laughs> are you better? Are you better or worse than that player 15 years ago? Ooh. Not even close. He might be less lucky. So. That player, FD, the fuck that player back then was sick. He he didn't care. That player back then, any given moment, just <laughs> fly that shit in. The tornado, or was that is that your nickname? Or? No. Uh, okay. Tornado. I was never the. Tornado. No, I think that was that was that might have been Joe Chong. Like, who do you want tornado? the flop to be, Carrie? A bunch of low stuff. Joe Chong was sublime. Like what? Sublime. Yeah. <laughs> I think the usual. tornado. Tornado is my nickname that's not when low. I play one that's two like, no limit. That's like above low. So he, you know, he doesn't have any of that. He might have picked up like a gut shot right now. Check. Check, check. See if he gets there. Deuce. What is he betting now? He bets he the queen. He got there, but he didn't need to he get there. He hit a queen. The man rivered a pair of queens. Chino knows. All right. Fold. Queen nine. Lay down. Fold. Big lay down. Two plucks at a nine or a ten <laughs> or a jack. Well, I've laddered twice and I have more than what I started with. Can't complain. Does that mean you're going out soon? <laughs> Life is good. That means I'm going to double up again. It's like the silver lining. You're like, All right, I'm grateful. I'm grateful no matter what. Love that. Yeah. Philip in the I need chat to get says, on the healthy tip like you. When are like we going to get more run it back episodes? Bro. Well, you ready, bro? This guy's It's a fun healthy. show, but yeah. it's also I love it, though. very time consuming. He's going to live to about 120. Getting the right guests for the right we got too much show and all the prep that goes into it. So too little I don't know. discipline and too much Maybe laziness. Maybe we'll do a few specials. Perhaps longer perhaps before WSOP. Not as long. That's also a pandemic memory, Donnie doing the run it back shows. Me in my apartment. Last time you did that, I had a really good talk <laughs> with, with, with a seven foot pizza. Yeah. <laughs> doing run it back. <laughs> run it back was a great show. <laughs> it, it was. It was a lo lot of fun. Carrie <coughs> Katz raising with ace queen. Oh. Reem shoves. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, was it a limp? Button yeah. limp there from Carrie Katz. Reem yeah. goes <laughs> over the top with ace 10 offsuit and Reem steps into it here. Last time, Kerry cool. limped the oh, button he got me with good. ace three off. Reem put it in with ace king suited. Kerry? Got through. But wow. here, You're a little trappy man, trappy. You, but I apologize in advance. Chino Rim sure. still feeling confident cool. here. 
but he's going to need some help in order to survive. Okay, you're supposed to have the ace-three off again. Then I would have folded. Here comes I the flop. King, queen, well, I do have deuce. More outs, yeah, <laughs> more outs now for Reem. A jack would give him a straight. I'll take an ace and then a jack. Turn card. Five of clubs. Reem drawn to a jack and a jack only. If he loses this, Kerry Katz will take a big chip lead into three-handed play. Gina Reem needs it. Cannot like find guys. it. Yeah. Eight of spades on the river completes like the board. Take it down. It was getting done either way. <laughs> Chino Reem out in fourth place. All right. He takes home $76,950 and has enough time now to hop into event number five. Chino Reem to the right. rail. Carrie Katz hmm? to the top. Yeah, I guess that time I was right. Katz well, sitting on 4.7 million, 93 big blinds. Yeah, really, Madanziev really on 73 bigs and Aram Zobian on 35. Yeah, Three handed good. play good guy. getting underway here. And that means. That is time for our first giveaway. Might be the most talkative FT player. Tino? Yeah. Uh, Negrano. <laughs> I want to toss more Negrano. <laughs> it depends on Daniel's mood. Yeah, Correct. Good day days, we can't get a word in. Yep. Bad days, he might not like say this anything. Guy's talking more than Negrano. Negrano gives me a funny look. Are you sure about that? Cats here with the Queen 10 off. Very interesting to see how. Kerry Katz will play his chip lead. Winner's tilt. Price. Yes. Yeah, Riding the wave. Five yeah, gotta ride the wave, you know? <laughs> All right. He listened to me. Damn it. My first true bet against you. Yeah, right. He's been playing tight, man. Besides the that raise on the rip. All right, time oh, for flush, the annual subscription giveaway. So that All you have to do is uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel here. and you like the video and then answer the question that I'm about to ask. I don't know. So I time banker too. Jack let me throw this one out there. Like We're talking about running back, which makes me think of the old school main event episodes. What was your favorite World Series Boku main event to watch? What was your favorite main event to watch? Let me know the year. Let me know the winner. Let me know in the chat right now. Favorite main event, year and winner. And I'll do a random draw to give one of you guys or girls a annual subscription to Book Go. You have to like the video and you have to subscribe to the channel. Those are the only two requirements. So let's hear it in the chat. Three handed play here underway. Carrie Katz finds. No, 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 no. King Jack. Who said I'm folding? Punishing the limpers. Just folding. I already know you're folding. Yeah. Wow. I could, I could tell by your initial reaction. I guess I don't need to, like, not give off tells if I know I'm folding. Yeah, that's fair. No real information. Here's a look at the payouts presented by Poker Go Play. 226 up top, 145 for second, and 105 for third. Where, where are you living nowadays? Henderson. Fourth safest uh, city in the United States, according to some <laughs> survey. Well, Zobian raising it up with 8-6 of hearts. Madanziev, king 8 off in the big blind. Donnie, how different will this three-handed battle be knowing that Katz leans a bit tighter? Zobian and Madanziev have, have played quite a few more hands. But ultimately, you know, they have to be worried about the chip leader. Yeah, of course. I, I just don't yeah, know how... Yeah, busted me a bunch this week. Overly Excellent. aggressive. You already hopping back in? Yeah. You're a warrior. Katz is going to be. Yeah. What else is Chino going to do? <laughs> Get in the next event. He's here <laughs> to play. He came to play. My first place in Henderson. 
I was like in the living room. I hear hear something outside. I can't tell what it is. And it was like a uh, megaphone. And it was a SWAT team across the street. <laughs> like, Are you serious? Circling around the guy's house, kicked oh. kick down the door. I was like, we got to get out of this neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Are you in a gated community? No. I don't live in like, yeah, near like Anthem or, in, but we, we did move. We do move down the street. <laughs> Pretty sick. The guy like brought him out in handcuffs. I don't know if he didn't, he said I didn't do nothing, but it sounded like it. <laughs> what, he, it sounds like he did something. He like, yeah, he shot someone after a party. He like followed them down Eastern Ave and shot at them. So if he lives in Henderson and it's not Anthem, Hender Tucky? I mean, <laughs> would, would fit the description, I think. Yeah, Water Street? <laughs> <laughs> It's a call. Remco and I both look. Well, is yours a Henderson? Yeah, I'm on the literal yeah, edge. I, I've not seen a SWAT team. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> it is legit the quietest neighborhood ever. <laughs> I, I literally live along the street that divides Henderson and Las Vegas. Like across the street is Vegas. I'm in the Henderson part, which is kind of funny. Yeah, no, no SWAT teams by us. I don't, I don't know where. I mean, Donnie. I don't you, know where Rom is. You, you live in California, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. There, there are not many people that live more south than you do. There's what, like two streets more south than you? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, all right, we got a, a turn here with no action at all. Some limping, some checking. Yeah, Cat's limp the button here seems to be a bit of his M.O. Not sure I agree with, with the chip lead and King-10 suited here. Ranji calls in the small blind, Zobian checks. Action was checked through on the flop, and now on the turn it's Zobian taking an opportunity to pounce. But Ranji does have a spade flush draw. Cats had gotten out of the raise. The Bulgarian comes along here. After this hand, I'll do the draw for the giveaway. By the way, last chance to enter. Favorite main event that you've watched? All you have to do is like the video and subscribe to the I channel. To let me know in the three. chat. I have just King High. Okay. Zobian with a three. I'm going to take this one down. Zobian needed that one. He is our short stack, but still, two million chips, 39 big blinds. Nothing to be concerned with. Cats with a big Wouldn't lead. That well for you. Dead. Donnie, if Kerry Cats raised Thought every hand three three right now when it's folded to him, do you think that's a profitable strategy for him, given that his image is probably a bit on a tighter side? Yeah. Start opening it up. Let's go. Blast away. All right. Drawing now for winners. Excuse me. For one winner in our giveaway. We'll do the next draw when we get down to heads up play. All right. The winner of the annual subscription to PokerGo has a Terrific YouTube name, Lord Humongous. <laughs> Lord Humongous, congrats. Send an email to social at pokergo.com. You are the winner of the lucky draw. We'll credit you with an annual subscription to PokerGo, valid for one year. Cool. And uh, I'd say enjoy the show. <coughs> but Anjeev with a raise here, Jack 10. Notable that. Zobian folded Jack-10 off from the small blind. Cats calls from the big Queen-9-Deuce here. Check, check, eight on the turn. So that delivers a Queen-High straight for Madanjiev. Cats lucky here to have nothing with the strength of Madanziev's hand. Two fifty. 
a bet and a quick fold here as Maranziev is slowly chipping back up to the, pl the place where he's most comfortable, which is in the lead. Average stack, 67 big blinds. That is exactly the average stack when this final table started. So we are sort of tracking to keep this thing going for a couple more hours. come out in five minutes and say we have three hands probably. It seems like it's three every time. It was four last time. Oh, well. She said three though. Did say three. Not you, David. Cats here, king, queen off. Another great opportunity to apply some pressure. Raise. 100K is the raise. Planet OPM asking, do winners of the PokeGo subscription also qualify for the million dollar free roll? Absolutely. We are doing that draw 400. 10 times this year. And if you're an annual subscriber, no matter how long you've been a subscriber or, or, or whatever the reason is, you will be entered into that raffle. So quite a bit of value there. But don't have Donnie with an interesting three bet here with nine, eight of clubs. Yeah, just trying to take some of the initiative away. Got decent board coverage with a hand like this. If you just call from the small blind, you are inviting the big blind away. You know, or sorry, the big blind in, I should say. So, he does flop the lead here with a pair of nines. Cats, of course, has those two overs, has that ten as well for a gut shot straight draw. Action checks over to carry cats. Checks back. Four clubs hits on the turn. Can Cats take this away from Madanziev? Well, it depends on how Madanziev wa wants to play this one. If he elects to start betting here on the turn, then it's going to be difficult for, for Kerry Cats probably to take this one away. Now, if Madanziev checks again, then, then maybe Cats pounces and... That would increase the likelihood, I think, of Cats ultimately winning this one, but it does look like Madanjeev is going to bet. Pretty small here, too. 175 into 900. Cats just beats him into the pot, pretty much. Going to see a river card here. Deuce of clubs. Nice little brick there. Probably not a terrible amount of concern here for Madanjiev. I mean, maybe a suited ace five is in there, of course, but probably going to be a lot of pairs. Maybe some ace king, ace queen, ace ten highs, stuff like that for carry cats that Madanjiev can target. So probably going small here. He does 250. 20% pot. You know, re really trying to target those hands again that are. Any pair between a nine and a four that carry could have the ace kings, ace queens of the world. Maybe just want to call with ace high. Cats 
Wildcats lets it go here on the river. And that sort of secures that chip lead again for Madanziev. Now up to 4.3 million. Cats down to 3.8. Just tuning in please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel we have daily live streams coming at you from the pokego studio every day until saturday night when this series continues sorry concludes of course it continues until saturday negrano in the mix right now in event number five justin bonomo also in the mix Great turnout in event five so far. That event's still growing as registration remains open. Coming up on the end of this level. Got a couple more hands to play. Queen six rainbow flop cats flops a six Madanjeev kick continued for 75k it was a quick call from cats seeing him make plenty of quick calls queen pairs the board on the turn cats check. checks there's a check back Four on the river. There's 425 out there, and Katz looks like he's coming with a bit over 200. 220 is the bet. Fold there from Madanjeev. And Cats will be happy to take one down. Always good for the confidence. And Zobian has turned into a bit of a spectator here with Cats and Madanjeev both sitting on very big stacks. Are those 30s? I don't know. <laughs> I just like built them. The yellow is like 29 or 28. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it in the... After the break, the blinds will be 30k, 60k with a 60k big blind ante. It's exactly 30, the yellows. Okay. So, there we go. It's just hard to maintain sometimes. Wow. Pocket aces for Kerry Katz in the small blind. He is now crossing his fingers, hoping that Madanziev finds a big hand himself. And unfortunately, it is nine deuce offsuit. Madanziev does call the 100K. Okay. Katz already winning or potentially winning more chips than I expected. I thought nine deuce was going to end up in the muck here as Madanziev flops a deuce, makes a pair, and Ram Sobian already probably off to the bathroom. Cats opts to check. He also has that ace of hearts to go with it. Four on 
Look at this. A check race from Katz. And that's going to get it done. We are going on a short four minute break. Four minute break. Enough time for me to find a snack here in the Pokemon studio. Here's a look at our chip counts presented by Octopi Poker.ai. Go check them out on this little break. We'll be back in four minutes when these three players return to battle it out. If you're looking to host and film a poker tournament, or just a company gathering, the Poker Go Studio, located in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip, can seamlessly host your event. With its state-of-the-art control room and a tournament area that fits up to 14 poker tables, there's nothing else in the Las Vegas Strip quite like the Poker Go Studio. Order up and have the day and night of your life. Let's shuffle up and deal! For more information, contact us at events at pokergo.com. They feel compelled to turn that sort of hand into a bluff. We can find bluffs. Yeah. Cool. Diane looks him up, can't blame him. No, wait, wait, may come back it, with a vengeance. It'll sell out. It. You, you, you should make it more than 40 players. Believe it or not, the, uh, the highest rated poker series of all times was the NBC Sports Heads Up Championship. Yeah, those, were, the, those were the highest rated poker shows ever. Those rated were, or viewers? Highest viewers or ra highest rated on TV? Those were, What's rated mean? I thought there's just like the rate, viewers. Most viewers. Most viewers? viewers? That's more than WSOP? Yeah. Main event? It was on NBC. Really? I remember being around for that. I remember watching it. They are kind of cool. They're yeah, MMA. they were yeah, really they cool. Are. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, wow. Wow. It was, it was 64. Oh, no. Hate to interrupt yeah, the conversation, yeah. but... You know, like Jesse Lonis like in some major yeah. trouble here. Yeah, you guys should do that again. I remember having a piece of grinder in it. Sweating him. Them. Yeah, it might be. How'd he do? That's what they need to do. Well, oh. they did that last no, time. No, not that good. He bluffed it off? I don't remember. <laughs> he won like his first maybe two matches or something, but then that was it. Oh, he, bu he, bub he, he, he bubbled it. Probably, yeah. yeah. Small three bets. 160. Yeah, Jesse finds any way Apparently out of this just got to find the right sponsor for it, and it'll come back. For the heads up? I mean, it would help if online poker opened Who up. Who was the sponsor for it last time? For the first one? That's the problem. DVT. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 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 Owen? There's the jam. There's the call, and here we go. Cool. Aces versus queens. A sick cooler spot for Lonis. What's <laughs> 160? He's running pretty sure right now. This tournament has been all stoyan on Madajun since, like, midday one. It's in Christy great shape it. here to That's score the it. first KO of this final table. What should you do? Be, be it, look, if you're going to have your, yeah, your aces cracked, cracked versus you Alex your wife. Yeah. on the final table, the one that you won? We know the problem. Hey, look, really? if you're going to have your aces cracked, you want your wife to do it. Yeah. King, 8-5, slight paint sweat. Let's not talk about cracking cases. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. You want to talk about it? Jesse does. You can afford it. Huh? Yeah. Jesse's the ladies' man, he said. Ooh, Ooh it's oh, another gosh. page sweat. It's so much close. King again. Heart, too. Keep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep you want, you want some more paint, nice. don't you? Two red Black queens left nice. in the deck. Black paint or red paint? Only one of them. Yeah, yeah. You want some red paint? Red paint, just for fun? <laughs> he does not want red paint. paint. <laughs> Set it to game. red Good six. Game, Stay Good game, game to Jesse. Back to back final table still. A fourth place finish followed up by sixth place for more than 40k. Good luck. He has become the ultimate Good grinder Good luck. inside Are the studio. Are you leaving studio. and coming back? What are you doing? I'm calling oh, it right yeah, now. You want a drink? He's going to make a three peak right, performance final table, table tomorrow yeah. for Lonis yeah. coming. Welcome back once again to the PokerGo studio. Event four 10k no limit hold'em final table down to three. Everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning back in. Hope you found a good snack. Donnie is inhaling a salad. I got myself some yogurt. We're just we're just humming along here. This final table could be a long one. You better stay well hydrated. You better stay on top of your nutrition. 81 total entries in this event. 
$226,000 up top. The average stack, 55 big blinds. Kerry Katz in the lead. Stoyan Madanchev is second in chips. And Aram Zobian, who's been a spectator for the last, I'd say, 40 minutes or so, is our short stack. But he is short with 32 big blinds. So he has nothing to be concerned about. We're playing 30K, 60K with a 60K big blind ante. Thank you all for tuning in yet again. Let's hear it in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. What are you snacking on right now? Give me some snack updates. I'm a, I'm a big time snacker myself. I'm trying to stay healthy here, so I want to know. I want to live through you guys. Give me that last bubble bee. Yeah, put it. No. Oh. That's all right, I'll get him a bulk. That's good. It means your hand's weak. You're worried you'll lose it. I like it. Six five five on this first flop back from break. Cats raise it up to one twenty five. Zobian called from the big blind. Cats with king three here. And the four of clubs gives him an open end straight draw. Zobian left with just queen high. 140. So we invest 140. Cats with the quick call. We've seen this a lot from Cats, Donnie. The quick call on the turn to then, you know, maybe do something on the river, but sort of Helmuth esque. Yeah, in almost. A way. Almost. I can, I can definitely see that, yeah. Now here on the river, the board pairs queen high. with six. Check, check, king high, queen high. Cats take the, takes this one down. Cats up to 4.6 million. You had the weekend. Huh? You had the weekend. Great draw. Uh, and a king draw. King 3-0. Lost your mind <laughs> on the button. What am I supposed to do with that? Ball? Temporary insanity. First hand back. Something you get. You do crazy things. Won't happen again. Learn my lesson. Are you playing PLO yet? Not yet. Huh? Not yet. I mean, if I started, it's like, it's pretty high stakes. Yeah, it's jumping five and 10K. That was part of, I wanted, one of the things I wanted to learn this year. I want to learn a lot of things. Not sure another card game is one of them. of kings here for Zovian after a button raise from Madame Giu. There is a three bet, 370k announced from Zobian. Cats folds and Madame G folds as well. Open in that event, so. Well, 30 minutes plus 40 minutes plus 20 minutes. <laughs> 90 minutes. 
You got plans for that one? Hoping we can, hoping we're able to play it. I guess we can. I think we are allowed to. You come. might be able to. We're gonna be battling heads up. <laughs> oh, it's it's on me. If you reset. Open here, raising the button. Queen nine of diamonds. Cat's called small blind. Ace nine off, and the diamonds you've got in there as well with the jack three of clubs. Two fifty five. Action checks on the king high flop over to Zobian. He bets two fifty five and gets it done. Blind on blind here, go into the turn. Was well, limped pre after Katz folded his button. Another check here from Maranjiev. Zobian turning two pair with that deuce. Breaking news for you, Donnie. Brian Rast has just entered event five. Love it. Brian Rast in the building. The Hall of Famer, baby. 995 dues five now on the board. Ace high best here for Zobian. Let's see if Maranziev is going to think that his king high might be good sometimes. He did check all the turn. You have king eight. Close. King high. Nice. Ace high takes it. One thing I've noticed from all the streaming that we've been doing recently, lots of big betting on uh, chop pot boards. Like, you know, straights on the board, uh, two pair on the board. Lots of big bets. In this case, of course, it goes check, check. Uh, why do you think that is, Donnie? Just trying to offer bad prices. Uh, I think, you know, we 
to your opponents. You know, yeah, it's it's not the best price to start. You know, calling to chop pots, but you just don't want to make it any sort of like an advantage for them to just be able to call if you're giving them good prices, right? So. Zach in the chat says, do I hear Negreanu shouting in the background? Very, very, <laughs> very likely, very likely. Negreanu is playing in our event five. Uh, check that out, by the way, pgt.com. We have standings, we have our leaderboard, we have our news, we have our player profiles on that website. And right now, you can follow the live reporting of that event on pgt.com. The live reporting button is active at the top of the page. And we have King 8 versus King 8 here. This could be an interesting one to follow. Four fifty. Four fifty. Zobin with the three bet to four fifty. Queen eight in the muck. Carry cats gets out of the way. Haven't seen a four bet yet at this final table. Love to see Madanziev take a stand here, but he doesn't. He lets it go. Okay, move on. Next hand. Uh, getting caught up here on the chat after I just ate my snack. Uh, we got uh, Meg Rib, Flaming Hot Cheetos, Pasta, Sour Cream and Onion Pringles, Reese's Minis, White Pizza. What else we got here? Fright, Oysters and Onion Rings, Jimmy Bluffett in the house. Jimmy, thanks for, for being with us tonight. Much appreciated. And he says he has a good beer. It, I think he posted he has an, he's drinking a Hefe beer from Oregon. Very topical with El Hefe, Mr. Kerry Katz, at this final table. Coined, of course, by Mr. Brent Hanks. Uh, Brent and Jeff are on the call on Pokego.com, so go hang out with them. Give them a shout in the chat as well on Pokego. Zobian raising up to 140. Katz folds the queen nine off. Madan Ziev with queen seven off in the big blind. Dantiev really eager to crank up the aggression a little bit. This is fun to see. I feel like you have king five. I can't do much. Zobian lets it go. What do you think, Harry? King five? Donnie, if you were oh, carry cats right now on the big stack, I felt the same way. Would you just want to so. play What's play that? the pots bigger the way the before the flop, well, hoping no, that monster. you might be able to, you know, get a few through, but then also get paid off uh, a bit bigger when you do make it. I'm not, I'm not so sure. I, I'd want to play the pots big pre-flop, but I, I would try and ramp up the aggression a little bit. I think the combination of the fact that you have the chip lead, your image is probably of a more conservative style. So those two things in combination, I think you can start to open things up a little bit, get a little bit wider with your ranges, get a little bit more aggressive. And then listen, if that does lead to some bigger pots, so be it, right? And then you just play accordingly post-flop. But I would probably be avoiding stuff like this where you're limping in on the button. Oh, no, he did raise here. Sorry, my fault. Thought he threw a single chip <laughs> in just to call. 
But yeah, just just ra raise a lot more. Maybe even work in some three bets, right? I mean, I don't think we've seen him three bet when they've been shorthanded here, you know? So, uh, I mean, we didn't even see him three bet when he had the ace king, if you remember that. So, yep. yeah. Start opening it up a bit. Takes that one down with continuation bet on the flop. Let us know in the chat if you have any opinions on who's going to take this down. I feel like a case can be made for all three players. Cats, however, comfortable in the lead right now. Madanziev and Zobian doing most of the clashing here in this uh, 30K, 60K level. I'm curious to see how close we are to registration closing and, and if these players are going to talk about that, maybe speed up the tournament, maybe you know take more risks. All three of them, with the points they're getting today, are going to be in contention for the Cup, so they cannot afford to miss out on event number five. Yeah, Kat's already mentioned it once kind of quickly with Aram Zobian. I think, you know, wor working off the delay that we're on, right around 5.30 would, would be, I mean, probably give or take a little bit, but we're, we're getting close to it, right? We're like 90 minutes away or so, 75 minutes away, something like that. So, and with the way that this thing's been going, with how deep that these players are, average stack still 55 big blinds, shortest stack Zobian still 38 big blinds, we could be here for... <laughs> A couple more hours. I don't envision that these players are going to care too much about chopping, right? I, I mean, maybe they care about chopping in order to speed things up a bit so they can get in that, to that event, but I don't see Kerry chopping. I don't see Aram chopping. I don't see Stoyan chopping either, so. And just elongate things. Another one there for Kerry Cats. If you enjoy the content, please hit that like button on the video. When we get down to Heads Up Play, we'll give away another annual subscription. But let's let's get this thing up to a thousand likes at least. Come on, that's the least you can do. Jen uh, supporting us in the chat as well. Jen, appreciate it. Thank you. Phony Turgeson says, "This is going to take a while with these nits." <laughs> Glenn Davis, happy to not have Negrano at the final table. Well, it, I, I'm happy to see that he still has some haters. First I've heard of that. I mean. Because I've seen so many of his fans that it's nice to know that some people are also on the other side. It's, it's not good to only have fans unless you have an OnlyFans. Wow. <laughs> should, I, should I become a rapper, Donnie? <laughs> no, we, we've already gone down that road. <laughs> Jonathan Jones says, Jen is a paid actor. Uh, no comment at this time. No comment. King 9-3, rainbow flop. Not much for either player. Gut shot for Zobian, but he needs that queen in order to hit that gut shot. So it's not going to be too easy. What do you mean? Why does it matter? It's so real. Oh, 70. Oh, seven. <laughs> okay. That's for the broadcast. Yeah, I was, I was just Sorry. Thank you. You don't have to work doubly hard. I thought she was trying to make him change. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, much much uh, stronger level for Zobian here after the last one. Yeah, I mean, he, he's hanging in there. I mean, performing well. He's, he's fairly active. He's not just totally sitting on the sidelines here. Paul, are we still able to get in if Reg is closed or no? Not if Reg is closed. And Reg closes what? 45? At 5 o'clock? Here we go. What time is it? Plenty of time. 
349. I'm gonna have to bust you guys in the next hour. Or I <laughs> Man can dream. <laughs> Couple of kings here for Cat, so if he wants to bust his opponents, this could be a good start to do so. Heard the players there talking to tournament director Paul Campbell. Sounds like they have an hour and ten minutes left to get into the next tournament, that event number five that is running on the outside of the room. Cool. But Anjiv here makes the call with two threes, and Zobian's got two fours. Well, I mean, here we go. Donnie, may the fours be with you. King four three on the flop. King four three. Let's end it. <laughs> set over set over set. Can we can we uh, that get would be some wild. can we get some drama here for a viral YouTube hand? And uh, this is the opposite, Donnie. This <laughs> is going to kill five. everything. <laughs> this is going to kill the hand, kill the action. <laughs> Katz is going to continue with his kings. Do you like continuing with kings in, in a situation like this? I think it's fine too. I mean, he he is the pre-flop raiser. He is in position, so you know, he can certainly have a lot of aces in his range here. Four seventy-five. Donjiev doesn't believe him. Oh, that's for sure. Wow. He's check raising here. Four seventy-five is the new price. Zobian's out of the way. All right, carry cats. You got two kings. What are you gonna do? This is very interesting. Now, Katz has to ask himself the question: Would Manziev call with an ace and raise the flop immediately with an ace on the flop that has this texture on? Is that is that a likely scenario? He he could in this situation because it was three ways, right? I mean, if you called, you invite Zobian in there as well. Does it make things tricky to play on future streets? Now, it's getting a lot <laughs> was, more interesting. That was an emphatic call. <laughs> yeah, so if you're... <laughs> Kerry goes into his shell. Yeah, if you're Madonsiev, is this a scary situation where you're almost uneasy to keep betting on the turn no matter what happens? I mean... Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> there's a king, <laughs> so any worry Kerry had. I, I was going to say, listen, it's kind of like yes or no. I mean, I don't know exactly how... But Anjiv, uh, you know, rates carry. Do you rate him as a person here who's going to be more nutted than he is not? Meaning, you know, he's got ace jacks, he's got big aces, he's got jacks in his range, right? Or if you think he could have, like, I don't know, an ace eight here and something like that, and that's the way he kind of acted on the flop and, and was debating between calling with, so maybe then you decide to barrel off uh, against that type of hand, getting him to fold, but... This king here, Badanjiev checking. It feels like he's just going to shut this one down. Katz does come with 600k as a bet here. Gets Things done. are going well for you. What? Things are going well. Huh? You might do you it in a, time. What are you betting, a jack? <laughs> huh? You betting a jack? I mean... <laughs> I, just under, I just don't understand your raise. But. All right, Gary Katz extending his chip lead, and here's a look at our 2023 master, or sorry, major winners. Katz started off the year winning the cup. Martin Zamani won the U.S. Poker Open. Chidwick got himself a purple jacket, and Isaac Haxton took down the super high roller bowl. That, of course, in large part due to the lucky ship. Back inside the studio here as the action continues. Zobian still the short stack, but Madanziev took a pretty serious hit to his stack. He now down to 2.7 million, and Katz over 50% of the chips in play.
hundred more? Oh well, just put over shuffle. Ace three jack. Cats has downgraded uh -huh. from so kings to queens. Yeah. He bets yeah, and he gets hands. a fold. Actually. Huh? Actually. Appreciate it. <laughs> Cats. I just had a king. So keeping them honest. Fifty four percent of the chips in play. Care Cats in a very good position. He's also the only player at this table right now who is up chips since the start of play. <laughs> he is up four million. Madanziev is down six seventy, and Zobian is exactly even from where he started at. If you're just tuning in, we are streaming until we get a winner tonight in this event. Thank you all for hanging out, tuning in, chiming in to the chat. Raging from the small limit, 8 7 offsuit. Cool. Why don't you have calls with Jack 10 offsuit? Ace, queen, eight, two spades on the flop. Cat's just going to continue. Donnie, it feels to me as though he's found a different gear. He's he's really, you know, firing a lot more bets. Maybe someone talked to him on the break. <laughs> it's, it's possible. He's come out blasted, man. Cat's bets 250. Madanziev calls with his double gutter. Turn card is the queen of clubs. Curious to see if Cass is going to continue here with his eight. Action goes check, check. To the river we go. Quite a few outs still. And there is one of them. Nine on the river <laughs> is going to get Mandaziev the straight. Katz decides to check. Doesn't like the sight of that nine. CF. Thinking about the sizing here, perhaps given the way the board looks and how Katz is raising from the small blinds, maybe a bit smaller, but he is grabbing a lot of those yellow chips. 1.6 million. Ooh, he's going for the overbet. 1.6 million, hoping that Katz maybe has a queen or an ace, Donnie, that he's trying to get value from here. Yeah, we haven't seen a ton of overbets at today's final table. So interesting to see how Katz views this and then ultimately how he approaches it. Yeah. Let's go. Let's see ya. I was hoping you wouldn't bluff at it with your king high. <laughs> then again, that could have been 10 jack. Oh. Did you get something or you missed? 
Not a peril. Okay, Katz calls out Maidan Zief's cards. Very king high and check. I was hoping you had King Jack or King Ten. Well the only hands that you could have that I could beat. I guess, it, I guess you had ten Jack, huh? Yeah. Or Miss Flush Draw. <laughs> Maidan Zief probably wondering, mm -hmm. what if I would have well, bet smaller? A double bet? <laughs> And that's a nice way to put it. Katz right. takes a little break, takes one hand off. card here for Mordanziev, Zobian with King-8 offsuit in the big blind. Ace-Deuce, Queen on the flop here, two hearts. It's a little bit of a throwback here to that game we used to play watching the World Series of Poker. We should get a sponsor, Yudani, and do, do one hand an hour where we can't see the cards. I'm in. Who's the sponsor? All right, chat. Think of a good sponsor for our mystery hand. There must be there must be a company where this aligns with. Let us know in the chat. Hey, Rast. How'd it go? Brian Rast in the house. Did you do the, did you do the speed? Ace four. Now revealed. And Adansiev turns it into two pair. Zobian drawing stone dead here. Call on the flop with King High now with that heart on the turn. Perhaps using this as an opportunity to take the pot away from his opponent? Let's let's find out. Check, check. To the river we go. 420 in the middle. King, excuse me, 10 of did clubs. He, uh, did he say anything, did on he the say anything interesting about your brainwaves? Yeah, I got no feedback on, uh, on oh, you, did, you didn't ask him? Yeah. Well, I mean, when I finish. Madanziev with two pair. Of course, looking for value. Here he comes. Nothing out there though for Zobian. But he's going to give it some consideration here. Zobian does let it go. Zobia now below 2 million for the first time in a long time, sitting on Kaylin Jeffers wants the old sponsor back, the Jack Links Beef Jerky Wildcard Hand. Awesome. Scotty says the mystery hand presented by Copag. Yeah, the cards, the cards should sponsor it, Donnie. That's a good idea. I like that. I think it should be like one of those strange lawyers you see on the side of the freeway on the big billboards. <laughs> I'm not going to name any because I don't want to give them free promo. 
But it would be really funny if one of those guys in their baggy suits would pop onto the screen. Remind you of your liability. Jack seven and ace eight going to the flop. Zobian flops trips. Zobi bets 110. Katz makes the call. Queen of spades hits on the turn. Katz has outs, but not many. Lines up. Oh no, double hand. Three hands. It's always three Sobe hands. Sobian bets three thirty and takes it down. Could you be Jack High? and the small blind is going to raise it up. I think Donnie's falling asleep. No, not really. <laughs> Jack, what do, you, what do you make of all this? All what? I mean, all the action. I mean, we're... we're or lack thereof. I mean, it is, it is a bit slow right now, but all three players still have a very good chance to win this one. I, I agree. I mean, it's it's anyone's game. I mean, I, you know, obviously it's huh? Katz's game a little bit more than the others, then Badanji's game a little bit more, but Zobin could certainly still come back. I mean, these guys are still very, very deep overall. And it just seems like such sure. kind of an anomaly that we've gotten to this point and they're still average stack, 55 big blinds. Shortest stack is 35 big blinds. Oftentimes, these final tables just converges down to a way where, again, 20 to 30 big blinds is what people are working with for a lot of it, maybe even shorter at times. Cool. Eight. Huh? Eight what else? Yeah, shows yeah, an eight. Bad. Gets a little bit of value here from King High. And the stacks are drawing closer and closer together. Very interesting to see Modanziev in a few quick hands chip up all the way to 3.7 million. sounds from event five in the background we'll, we'll be streaming that tomorrow right here on our youtube channel as well cool. wow aces for madanziev carry cast with one mystery card depending on what that mystery card is we could see some 
fireworks here potentially. Two forty. Two forty. Oh boy. Carrie Katz goes for the limp re-raise and the timing might be a little bit off on this one. Oh, you think? A I mean, little? Just a little? <laughs> just a little? Trouble brewing here. <laughs> Trouble brewing indeed. If you're Madonsiev here, are you banking on the fact that Katz has a real strong hand and you want to get more money in? Or do you want to sort of take it easy and, and, and keep him in on the flop here? I mean, I, I think that if he knows Kerry Katz, and I'm not sure he has the most experience with him, then, you know, you can probably just flat this, which which he's going to do, which is good, right? Because we've seen at times Kerry, Kerry can get a little bit funky, right? Right, right, right. right. We can definitely rule out that he doesn't have the ace ten of spades because Badanjev has the ace of spades. Zobi unfolded. Jack of spades, nine of diamonds. So we can also rule out Jack ten of spades, right? So, what's that other card? If it's two tens, I mean, this this could end up being very troublesome. Wow, ace four king top set here for Madanziev. Now, whatever Katz has, unless he has ace ten, this flop might save him some money. Yeah. Now we're also ruling out king ten of spades, of course. So it's almost like we got to start weighting this to two tens. Maybe he's got. 10-9 of spades. If he does have a second spade under there, the second spade on the turn yep. could pr prove pretty interesting. At this point, if you're Madanjev, I mean, you might want to start just, just putting some money into the pot, try and get some value, try and get two streets out of this top set here. He does come small, 225, and Katz quickly calls. Cats has to have two tens or two spades, right? I mean, seven of clubs on the river, 1.7 million in the middle. Mardanziev with top set here. Yeah, and I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is the nuts. I mean, I don't think Kerry's playing a three-five here. I mean, he could be, right? But I don't think he is. So I think Mardanziev is going to be pretty comfortable betting here. Now it's just a sizing question. And you have all the aces, so so what are you targeting? Probably targeting the king, so maybe you want to go kind of... What's that, 1.2? Okay. 1.2 million is the bet for Maidanziev. Now let's say Katz is ace-10, just for the sake of argument. Well, then he's got a call. I mean, that'd be <laughs> that'd be a big blow. That'd be a big, big blow to his stack. But I, I just have a hard time seeing Carey doing this with Ace-10 off. He obviously can't have the Ace-10 suited, but of course I've been fooled before, so. He does put it into the muck. There we go. And we'll never find out what that... Seems like that was two tens the way, the, way was. He's, the way he's acting. I mean, this was an absolutely massive hand. A big swing as King well. King ten. King ten oh, off. King okay. Ten. Huh. Well, cats with a little pre flop creativity backfires just slightly because Madanziev sits very comfortable with pocket aces. Not only against many other hands that Madanziev can have there. That pre flop little stutter step might work. I mean yeah, maybe. He's counting on you to have top set there. Maybe I saved you some chips pre-flop. <laughs> Big hand? Yeah, uh, I hit it. You hit it? it, <laughs> it. You had it. No shove? Did you hit the queens or something?
shoulder is. Might be. Six three of diamonds. Match your bet. <laughs> what? I'll match your bet. <laughs> Sounds okay. like a home game. I will see your two hundred thousand. <laughs> and raise. It's like it is like deja vu, isn't it? You got the nice suited connector, and then you, you get that shit flop. Suited gapper. Yeah. Suited what? Gapper. That is it. I think we're up. That was three hands, right? Are we up now? Yep. All right, lines are going up. The price of poker just continues to increase. If you want to just uh, play some poker, increase the blinds a little bit in your life, go to PokerGoPlay.com right now to get into the action. And what a beautiful sunset here in Las Vegas. That looks, looks absolutely stunning. By the way, it was pretty warm in the last couple of days. I was kind of shocked at the vibe in the city as the temperature goes up. We're playing 40K, 80K with the 80K big blind ante. Serious poker is still left to be played. Hear voices? Johnny, I cannot believe we played the 100K, 200K last night. Gotta be 80. Well, we started a couple levels ahead as well, so we got to factor that in. But we haven't even raced off the blue 5Ks the 1. yet. 1. 6 million <laughs> Still on the table. I know. It's just crazy. I guess you'll find out soon. <laughs> okay. You tried. That one might have been a bluff. Or just greedy. Yeah, maybe it's more greedy. Hopefully greedy. Do you know how much you play? No. Hmm. Uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, Ten million minus one point. One point. Eight, eight million minus whatever you have. Average stack now 41 big blinds as we see deuce 6 3, two diamonds yeah. on the flop. A little bit of a graphics hiccup here. 120. 120. Card is the Queen of Hearts. Playing a little guessing game here. Okay. Looks like we'll be going on a short break after this hand to ensure that the card graphics are back. By the way, if you're just tuned in, we're streaming until we get down to a winner. And Madanziev gets to take this one down. Here it is. Short little break. We're going to fix those graphics and make sure you guys can resume watching when everything is back in place where it should be. In the meantime, during this break, break check out octopipoker.ai. I'll, I'll quiz you guys when we come back. See you in a few minutes. Hey, no, wait, wait. May come back it, for the vengeance. It'll we'll sell out. It. You, you, you should make it more than 40 players. Believe it or not, the, uh, the highest rated poker series of all times was the NBC Sports Heads Up Championship. Yeah, those, were, the, those were the highest rated poker shows ever. Those rated were, or viewers? Highest viewers or ra highest rated viewers? on TV? Those were, What's rated mean? I thought that was just like the rate, viewers. Most viewers. Most viewers? viewers? That's more than WSOP? 
Yeah. Main event? Was on MSC. Really? I remember being around for that. I remember watching. It's, they are kind of cool. They yeah, they were yeah, really they cool. Well, oh, wow. It was 64. Oh, no. Hate to interrupt yeah, the conversation, yeah. but hey, so, you know, Jesse like Lone is like in some major yeah. trouble here. Yeah, you guys should do that again. I remember having a piece of grinder in it. Sweating him. Yeah, it might be. How'd he do? That's what they need to do. Well, oh. they did that last no, time. No, not, not that good. He buffed it off? I don't remember. <laughs> he won like his first maybe two matches or something, but then that was it. Oh, he, he, bub he, he, he bubbled it. Probably, yeah. yeah. Small three bets. 160. Don't see how Jesse finds any way Apparently out of this. Apparently, just got to find the right sponsor for it, and it'll come back. For the heads up? I mean, it would help if online poker opened. Who was the sponsor for it last time? For the first one? That's the problem. BGT. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All in? There's the jam. There's the call. And here we go. Cool. Aces versus queens. A sick core spot for Lonis. <laughs> this tournament has been all Stoyan Madan What else are you going to do? Since, like, midday one. It's in great shape here to score the first KO of this final table. What should you do? Be, be I mean, look, if, you're gonna, yeah, if, if you can't have oh, your aces cracked versus Alex? You want your wife. Yeah. on the we, final table, the one that she won? We know the problem. Hey, really? look, if you're going to have your aces cracked, you want your wife to do it. Yeah. King 8 5, slight paint sweat. Let's not talk about cracking cases. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. You don't want to talk about it? Jesse does. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Jesse's the, the ladies' man, he said. Oh, it's another oh, paint sweat. So so close. King again. Heart, too. Keep, yeah, keep you want, you want some more paint, paint, don't you? Two red black queens left nice. in the deck. Black paint Jesse or red paint? One of them. Yeah, yeah. You want some red paint? Red paint just for fun? <laughs> he does not want red black. paint. <laughs> Set it to red six. Game, it's a good game to Jesse. Back-to-back -back final table still. A fourth place finish followed up by sixth place for more than 40k. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. He has become the ultimate hey, grinder good luck. Good luck. inside the studio. Are you leaving studio. and coming back? What are you doing? I'm calling oh, it right yeah, now. Yeah. You want a drink? It's going to make a three-peat performance. Final table drink. tomorrow yeah. for Lonis yeah. coming. Yeah. yeah. Need to get the commission here, break down the schedule. We can do that. Is he coming in, the commission? Kerry said. He said Tim would know better. PLO series question. I think we've got multiple PLO series and mixed game series this year. Streaming on all of them. It'd be wise for Poker Go not to hire us for any mixed game stream commentary. No, I'm it. I've really been working on Yeah, mixed you've games. been in the yeah. lab. Yeah. Here. See, Stoyan is a pretty one. Check, check. Nine of hearts on the turn. Osmus picks up a gutter and a flush draw. Diana turns two pair. Intriguing turn card for both. Ooh, wow. The over bet here. Eight six right in the it muck. Just shuts Osmus down, denies all equity. Sixty thousand. 
that's what two threes in the small lines. You let me in. You let me see out flop you both for cheap. <laughs> it's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Not fun. Not fun at all. Good discipline. You boys have fun. They just might. Five deuce deuce. Threes are best. I'll smith with the overs though. Back to our flush draw. Welcome back inside the PokerGo studio, event number four, still ongoing, 81 entries, 12 players cashed, first prize, $226,000. This tournament summary presented to you by Storm X. Kerry Katz held the chip lead for quite a while, now back down into second place. Aram Zobi in our short stack with 1.8 million, and currently that is worth 22 big blinds. Mardan Ziyev is our chip leader, the man from Bulgaria, the winner of the 2020 WSFB online main cool. event for $3.9 million. And look at this, we got some big hands clashing. Katz raising with 7-3 suited, and he just steps right into it as Mardan Ziyev calls with ace-10, and then Zobian finds ace-queen. Very, very interesting. All in. Oh, and he just moves all in, just yeah, like that. Point. Should be 1.73. Cats 7, 3. with the snap fold. Yeah, 1.73. One point seven three is the all in shove. Donnie, give me some thoughts on this uh, predicament that Madanzia finds himself in. I mean, it's a good squeeze spot for Zobian, right? If he was looking for a spot like this to get his money in. Okay, call. Here we go. Oh, wow, here's the call. Ace-10 versus Ace-Queen. Zobian, the short stack, with the best hand. I mean, this, this hand could really even the playing field <laughs> in a really funny way. If Zobian wins this one, he is the chip leader, and Madanziev will be the short stack, but the stacks will be very, very close. Zobian looking for his ace-queen to hold up. Let's see the flop. King, nine, king. Now chopping, perhaps, on the mind of Madanziev as well. A nine would give both players two pair. A 10, of course, would give Madanziev the win here. Let's see the turn card. Turn is the nine of hearts. There we go. Okay. On our way to a chop. Zobian needing a queen to win this one. <laughs> Mes okay, messing okay. with the cards. <laughs> at showdown here. Still ace 10 versus ace queen. Zobian needing a queen to double up. It's the five of hearts on the river. All right, boys, take your money back. Play continues. Doesn't seem very fair. Guess it beats a ten of hearts. Yeah. I'll take that any day. Forty k. First award. What kind of? Honest day's work. Paid time. They paid up. I, felt, I felt like a 10 will come. I want to skip to the, was just the 100k level. I'm saying, did he use the time extension? Oh, did I? Yeah. I mean. Oh, it was a little more than three seconds. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, just making sure. I assumed you took it. Limp raise, ace flop, I take it down. That's my plan. All right, check. Wow. Plans are good. Limp and a one check. Time. We're going to see a flop here. One blue? Yeah. One time what? You have a decent hand? Call. <laughs> 90 and a snap call. Zobian plays the board. Carry Katz with a king takes Charges this one down. Uh, I assumed I lost. <laughs> you had to try. The least. one time I had the limp jam. Yeah, limp jam. <laughs> He ain't suited. How do you? you gotta change that one. Sometimes. No, I mean, it's a good check. I'm saying, how do you pick up that good of a hand? 40. We should skip to the 100 level. Speed it up. Doesn't seem fair. For you? Yeah. <laughs> Just entering the tournament, I mean, you shouldn't skip level. Agrees. Zobi on the button. Let's it go. Probably still a bit sour about the <laughs> fact that his double up just went belly up. Pretty uh, dry three-handed battle here with oh all three of these players very much focused on trying to take this down as Katz picked up another big pocket pair. He's had kings and queens in the last hour and a half, and now he picks up jacks. The big issue, of course, is are your opponents going to find playable hands? And the answer to that is no. So. We move on to the next hand. <laughs> uh, closing in on 100 hands played here at this final table. 41 big blinds is the average. These players are still looking ahead at getting into event five. Yeah, we're getting close to that registration cutoff time that if these players do want to hop into that event, they're gonna have to make a decision here or Play a little bit faster, get the money in, one or the other. Well played.
Here's a look at our payouts so far, presented by PokerGo Play. Jesse Lonis was the first to go, which feels like it was yesterday, to be honest. Osmus was next to go, and then Chino Reem. Zobian coming in here on the button. 10-8 of diamonds. Carry Katz finds the ace queen off. Makes the call from the small blind. And Madanjeev has ace 10 suited in the big blind. Could be a bit of a clash here. Seven hundred fifty. There is the three bet from the chip leader. Zobian folds and Cat's snap announces all in. Wow. Huge. This is a big shove. Wow. <laughs> Madanziev, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's called knowing that's your opponent. That's eight. It's called knowing your opponent. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't shove. <laughs> Shove free? Yeah. You already got called. Is that a lot? I don't have a pair. I am a bit bad shape. Though. All right. I thought you were thinking about Shum. Hey Paul, can we color up a little more? Just it'll make it easier for everybody to count. Uh, yeah. Just everybody color up, just so we can. It's just too hard to get everybody's count. You could just ask them. <laughs> All in. All in. All right. I feel like we're we're picking up the pace a little bit. Uh, at, le at least for Zobian, you know, he's in that territory now. Sub-20 big blinds where he's going to be looking to get his money in at a little more of a higher frequency than he has been previously. But yeah, the other two are, are still plenty deep. 58 big blinds for Kerry Katz, 50 for Madanjeev, and Zobian's there with 17, so... Here's a look at Aram Zobian's live tournament record. 95 total caches, 27 final tables, and most notably, of course, that World Series of Poker main event final table. Three wins today, and he's hoping to add to that today. Ends up to 4.1 million in career term earnings. A, a steady grinder, a determined pro. I'm sure we're going to see tons of him in 2024, as he will probably look to qualify for that PGT championship at the end. Donnie, the fans can also play the championship. Give us some more insight there. Yeah, I mean, they can. You got to win your way in, though, via our Dream Seat promotion. We are kind of bringing that back, but also a little bit of a twist. We are doing an annual subscriber giveaway on the first of every month, starting in March. So that's going to be coming up. Become a PokerGo annual subscriber, and you will get entered into that giveaway. March 1st is the first drawing again, all the way through November. So there's going to be 10 of those drawings. 160. Does Zobian think it's time 
to put this money in here from the small blind with ace six off. Madanji opening on the button with two sevens. So it would be some bad timing if Zobian comes with it. Oh, wow. Zobian gets shoved on and lets it go. And now Aram Zobian down to below a million chips. And Donnie, I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we have the two perfect stacks now for heads up play. Yeah, I mean, it looks like we are heading in that direction for a heads up collision between Maranjeev and Kerry Katz with Aram Zobian. At least likely going out next. I mean, he can certainly turn this around, and that's what he's going to have to do. Just about 12 big blinds for Zobian now after that non-all-in three bet and folding to the four bet jam. Now he's got ace four suited on the button, so all is in. this the one? There it is. All in from him. Ace four, I'm ultra good. premium and three-handed play, especially if you're the short stack. Carry asks for a count here. 9.50. All right, he's out of the way. 9.50. Oh, yeah. king, queen, though, for Menangiev. He's in there. Queen? Here we go. All right, here we go. Ace four versus king, queen. Zobian again in the lead. He's seen this show before. Question now is can his ace four hold up? First level. Tournament players and dealers, last handle level, color up, race off. Reds close break, card back in here at 5 o'clock. Oh boy, the well, Reds close they break. They get ace high flops against me like in these spots. I want, I want the ace high flop. This is uh, say it. potentially deciding whether Zobian will hop into the next event. Here comes the flop. 3, okay. 5, 10, 2 spades, no spades in play here. Zobian Two, pretty three, safe four, right now. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, oh, ten. King or queen needed for, oh my god, and there it is. For Madanziev, I was going to say, Zobia now with seven outs, an ace or a deuce, two, or will be down ace, to heads up two, play. Ace, ace, two, ace. Ace or deuce, or Zobian will hit the rail, and Madanziev will be heads up with carry cats. River card. Is an ace! Oh, wow! Zobian saved by the bell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Carrie think I busted. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> Players in the background going on break in event number five. Aram Zobian trying to fake well, out Carrie go? <laughs> I, I honestly think, Donnie. We play on. Did you make it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> River? Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Donnie, I think <laughs> Kerry Katz might be dropping a stack. What do you think? How about a, a three-way chop so we can play the next event? Fun run out. Huh? Uh -huh. You want to do a three-way chop so we can play the next event? I mean, we don't have even stacks how to chop it. Like ICM or what? Yeah, ICM chop. Ooh. It's a side. I, I think I want to play. You want to play? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Down, CF. How, how much is left for the next event? Uh, for the 15 uh, minutes. The bridge closes in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Might change the equation. <laughs> you're trying to win the title, but 
thought about you getting these points too. I want to finish this story. I'd give up some equity. Mm -hmm. I'd give up 5% equity. Five? So like evenly distributed to us two? Yeah. I want to play the next to that. You? Yeah, what do you think? I'm, if, if you're okay with it, I, I would also drop. I prefer to play, of course. But, do you um, well, maybe do you have to play it all the way through? Like, do you have to play at the champion? I mean, maybe the chop doesn't end it. It's bad for the stream. I get, you want to? It's too bad for the stream if we chop this thing, right? What are you thinking? Mm -hmm. What are you thinking? You can be honest. I mean, if you want to. I feel like playing, but uh, I also want to play this. I you mean, want to play it okay, so. No. Hold it. Hold it. All right, here we go. No chop. Play will continue. Here's a look at our uh, chip counts. Gary Katz in the lead, 4.4 million. Madanciev, 3.6. And Aram Zobin, after that recent double up, now sitting on 2 million chips. All right. No reason, Donnie, no, for I, anyone I to be in a rush now because they're going to miss registration. Yeah, that, that can matter a lot to you, of course. Yeah. Uh, so we got 15. Maybe we'll finish in 15 minutes. Uh, there's 160. Hold on, do your small blind. I'm going to 40 out. I'm going to 40. Yeah. And now raise 162. Cats here finds pocket aces. Comes in for I'm the raise and gets no hand. action. Still here. I don't think we've, we've, we've seen this much at all, Donnie. In Any all the Poco Cup the events, series? it's usually over right yeah. on the cusp of the end of late registration. Well, it's pretty much all one yeah. though, I just think. Yeah, I mean, a couple of times really we, we've one, gotten one, to this point, they have two, made some sort of one, deal one, one, you know, just to days. speed things up. It's, it's a good feeling. Shorten the levels, jumped ahead a couple of levels, whatever it may be. It's also interesting that, one, the person who denied the chop the most would be Ladanjev. He's second in chips, not the chip leader. Oftentimes yep. you see the chip leader is like, no, I, I got this. I'm going to play <laughs> for it all. And also with the fact that Kerry said he's going to give up 5%. Yeah. <laughs> so Ladanjev is just like, no, nah, I'm playing it through. Half a million in the middle here after Zobian raised before the flop and Katz called from the big blind. Katz now with just jack high, but does have the best hand. 380. Zobian bets 380 and takes this one down. Seventy. Okay, hundred seventy thousand. I call. Check. 
three-way action with these kinds of hands can always get very intriguing if the right flop pops up. Check. Ace three, five deuce, five four. Very much uh, a wheel type hand. And the four on the turn pairing makes things even more interesting. Zobian's pair of aces now crushed by the trips of cats and Madanziev able to get rid of this very, very cheaply. Cats bets 205. gives Katz a full house, and Zobian left with a pair of aces. Donnie, pretty well disguised strength of Kerry Katz's hand here. Yeah, it is, and you know, one pair of those fours being on board already could lean Zobian to ultimately paying off Kerry here with whatever he comes with. How much was that? Looks pretty small. Yeah. Well, yeah, Kerry. 300 into, into a million. I think we're gonna chop a lot. 300k is the bet from Katz, and Zobin immediately announces we're going to chop a lot, indicating perhaps a small ace for both players. Katz gets called and shows the full house. Pretty good run out. Big <laughs> run out here for Kerry Katz. Donnie. Is there a diamond on the flop? Katz, the one who yeah, wanted the chop the most to yeah, get into the next diamond. event, is now the one chipping up in this scenario. Yeah, kind of ironic in a way. <laughs> he should just start shoving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all in. How much I got? Yeah. <laughs> you say left. How much left? <laughs> After the hands. I'm yeah. plenty. What? This is a flush thing. So. All right, Kerry Katz continues to chip up. If you want to get a chance at chipping up in this very studio, become an annual subscriber to PokeGo. Use promo code PTTDREAM24 to save $20 on your annual plan. We're sending 10 annual subscribers to Las Vegas to play right here, maybe at this table, in the Dream Seed Invitational, which is the qualifying event for our million dollar free roll the night before. This one's me. I feel it. Yeah, it's you getting in the next tournament. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one looks like you. Under 50,000. on the turn. Katz made a 160 before the flop. Zobian called. Katz continued for 150 on the flop. Now arriving on the turn. Zobian looking strong with the king, Donnie. Oh, wow. Applying the pressure on Aram Zobian on a three of diamonds turn card. Donnie, what are we, what are we thinking about this move? <laughs> I get a whiff of impatience. No heart. I mean, it's still very hard for Zobian yeah. to call. He's only got that deuce kicker with the king. He does put his hand into the muck. Wow. I mean, I feel like we just unlocked Kerry Cat's new playing style. Like, if he just applies the pressure and goes crazy, the players are going to give him credit. I mean, this might work the for the next two level. years. <laughs> That's usually a good thing. That's the run hop level for the short stack. Should probably stall. Don't stall. Let's get in the next event. <laughs> you don't want to That'd be crazy for you to stall. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> We're on the superstition of reaching a level. That would be something. Oh, hey. You're yeah, the big blind, sir. What'd you have? Queen, eight of spades. No, you did not. 
<laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, why would I lie? That would be crazy. Play, I mean, if I had a king, I'd go all in there. If you have a flush. No, it's an eight. You're just shoving an eight. He <laughs> did. The <laughs> Soviet can't over. believe it. That is absolutely hilarious. That might be the wildest bluff. I had all the information I needed. To We've seen bluff. from Carrie Katz in a if very long time. If you shoved an eight, time. I'm very sad. Huh? I said, if you shoved an eight, I'm very sad. I shoved an eight. You did? Yep. <laughs> With no heart. Wow. But if you had a king, you gotta you gotta jam the flop. I uh, just called. I had king deuce. Well, I guess you. Uh, I mean, you know, yeah, you probably gotta just probably just gotta jam that one. Why not? I don't I don't know how giving another card helps unless you want me to bet and then you I mean it, like you're playing it slow. This final table all of a sudden has become pretty spicy. When's the, when's the, uh, oh, we go up in eight minutes? Okay. Six thirty. Uh, Six hundred thirty thousand. Shove the fucking eight. Wow. <laughs> Soviet seems <laughs> a little bit tilted from that. I mean, he's he's uh, down to 1.2 million. He needs some help. I just think at that point you don't have the luxury of worrying about kickers. Yeah, you might, you're probably right, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, wait, there's no reason to call pre if you're not willing to go with the king. I don't, it's not really how it works, but... Aram Zobian. A little bit tilted, again, understandably so. ZF, 7-6 off in the small blind. He's going to just give the perhaps tilting Zobian a little bit of a breather here. Another lenient one. <laughs> what do you think Kerry would say if the other players were like, you want to do a chop now? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you think he'd agree? the shufflers up here. Hey, Paul, why, why aren't we doing the shufflers up here? It ruins the cards. It ruins the art that you Oh. You just hate the shufflers. I do, but that's true. It ruins the cards. It ruins the RFID cards. We need an RFID card that doesn't get ruined. A couple of tens here for Zobian, a welcome to site, but no action. I think you're weak that time. Good read. Yeah. Sitting yeah. there with a top. hand was good enough. He was just going all in. What if I had tens? It's either that or yeah, the nuts. I had the nuts. <laughs> well, that tens is the nuts in this situation, right? Eighty-one entries, three players remain.
Check check on the flop here and but Anjiv improves to better than Katz's pair of sixes here. But Katz is the one coming out betting. Madanji makes the call. Four on the river. Check. Small bet here uh, from Madachi. <laughs> Carry standing. Call. 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 <laughs> makes the call. I don't see the bad news. How much? 175. Yeah. Oh, I gotta stop giving you free cards. This walk was so crazy. No, I. We don't have a break, right? Let's just play through. Uh, Looks like the blinds are going up again. Can you stop? Got like a million. 1.315. Behind. All in. But on ZF moves all in with King 7 suited. Gets it all done. Right, here we go. Oh, it's yeah, new level. All right, three-handed action still underway here as we look back at our previous winners from the Cup. To date, David Peters taking down event number one, which was a 5K no limit. Dylan Weisman was unstoppable in event number two. Clean victory for him in that one. And there it is, Jonathan Little had an epic roller coaster, winning all the all-ins in event number three. Sipping from that Cup, and that brings us to... Right now, we have action in event number four. If you're still with us, you've earned yourself a drink. This has been quite the final table. There are the chip counts presented by Octopi Poker. Cats in the lead for five million, but he'd almost rather be in the next event already. Madanziev, 3.7 million. Zobian on 1.3 million. All right, still got quite a bit of poker ahead of us. No chop, these players are going to uh, fight forward and battle and see if one of them can come out on top in the next I don't know, next hour, maybe 90 minutes, the blinds do continue to creep up, but since they've missed the registration cutoff they won't be in as much of a rush anymore to get their money in the middle Alright, uh, gentlemen Wait, I put those are, those are my four, I put four out as Annie No, 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 no Yeah I have a 425k oh, okay. out as it. Yeah, 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 okay. I thought it was that? anteing. Never mind. You're right. I just thought it was the ante, so I was like, oh, those are right. Gentlemen, this is the closing break in Reg in the uh, perimeter tournament. We don't extend registration. You can go in and blind off. The only option you have is to buy and blind off. This tournament could still last quite a while. All right. I'm going to do it. You, 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 no, you're you not. Do yeah, it. yeah, put me in. You want to be, you're, okay. Yeah, yeah. Put me in. All right. You gonna blind out here? The blinds do it by in it. I can run between the two tables. Um, the blinds are three six six. Oh boy. So Actually, I can run. You can run between the two tables. So it's fifteen k in orbit. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm not the gambler. No, you're good. Okay. Nope. Aaron, you're good. Yeah. Carry. I don't have. I'm a gambler. Yeah. I don't have carry. <laughs> All right. Here's a look at the five k no limit. Action about to get underway after registration closes, but Kerry Katz 
is going to jump in. Donnie, do we have the follow cam ready? And does Kerry need to do warm-up stretches to run back and forth between his hands in that event? We should have the camera ready, and he should be stretching. We don't want anyone to be pulling hammies out here, running across the studio, okay? Imagine. He's probably got something... No, it was normal so when he walked away. Then again, he owns the joint, so I'm not sure he could, like, sue. <laughs> He'd have to sue himself. Is that a thing? Trips over a wire, <laughs> hits a camera. Cats moves all in and gets it done. And Donnie, are we expecting more aggression from Cats? Yeah, I would. I would think so. Kerry did mention that he's a gambler, that he wants to get into the, that other tournament. The, the biggest player? reason for him is is probably because of the series points well, leaderboard. You know, he yeah, wants no, to I contend for the Poker Girl Cup <laughs> title once again. He won it before. Hey, why is it say? Yeah, you got the wrong level on. Is it 40 minutes for the for the uh, 40 minutes at the final table? That's too long. <laughs> Not enough gamble. Brock, Brock sent us to uh, deep distribution. Yeah, I guess I, I I shouldn't have wished for that. I should have just kept playing until we should have just played till midnight. Oh, you're in the tournament. I, know, I didn't think about it. I was so happy to go home early. asking if this counts for the player of the year points or just the cup. It, it counts for both. It counts for the Poker Go Cup series leaderboard. It also counts for the season-long Poker Go Tour leaderboard. So these points count for, for both leaderboards. So players, of course, they want to maximize their chances when they get down to a final table like this because it's not hard, It's not easy Excuse me, to make a final table. You want to do the best you can when you get there. But if you're someone like a Katz who, you know, wants to really gun for that series title, wants to really try and put yourself in the best position to make the top 40 of the PGT leaderboard, because ultimately that's what qualifies you to get into the PGT Championship Million Dollar Free Roll at the end of the season, then it's also a volume game, right? So that's why he's dropping a stack over there in event number five. Now, Badanjiev and, and Zobian elected to pass on, on dropping the stack. That's that's their choice, right? But given the finishes that they're having here, they're going to be, you know, within striking distance of of the, of the cup title. So we'll see if this choice to not go drop a stack ends up like coming back to kind of haunt them later on in the series as this thing plays out. Well, whatever happens, we are do some big all-ins and we are do some exciting hands so i wouldn't go anywhere if you've stuck around this long you might as well see it through uh, jack's here for wadanziev he's sitting on 34 big blinds he's gonna come in for a raise by the way oh. shout out to everyone in the chat i gotta do some some shout outs i see smeeble in there i see mate in there and i see zobian in there with ace king offsuit and madanji have limped the button here with jacks Wow. All in. You're all in. All in and a call. That was very easy. Ace King versus Jax. Uh -huh. A fair too. fight. <laughs> Coin flip between Zobian and Madanjiev. $3.3 million in the middle. Zobian Game looking to <laughs> regain some court. ground here. Sometimes. Sometimes. All right, can Zobian figure this out and find a way to double up? King in the window, ace right behind it, and a 10. Okay, we're going to keep it interesting. Four worst. outs here for Madanziev to make a straight here. 
The Jack, of course, would also be good. Turn card. The deuce of spades, the blank of all blanks. Zobian, one card away from a huge double up. This would send him to his high point of the day. River card. The ace of clubs, and that will seal it. Zobian with a big double up. Madanziev now, for the first time at this final table, the short stack. He is sitting on 18 bigs. Zobian up to 33 bigs, and Katz still the chip leader. I, I gave the the no, the no, no swipey finger to Aiden when he offered pizza, and Donnie at the same second raised his thumb. I'm just saying, yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying to. I'm trying to stay healthy, but now that you're going to eat a slice, I'm probably going to be convinced. A slow day. To we could be here for three more hours, man. I, <laughs> that is very possible. <laughs> At this point, I mean. That's going to fire at this one here on the river if it was checked, or sorry, on the turn. Same amount of entries. No, two more. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. There goes Carey. Looks like he's going to go over and play his stack in oh. the other event for a hand or two. We'll see how long this hand takes at this all in. final table. Could be quick. Madanjiev moving all in here. Gets it done. Come back, Carey. Come back. He's a wild man. <laughs> no waiting, I think. Why would you wait? I mean, play goes on. <laughs> there he comes, running we were back in. Comfy over there. So I was like, all right. Here's one. Yeah, you're all in. Yeah. <laughs> So he yeah, moved all in on the, the other table. Is that allowed? <laughs> Can you win if you're not there? <laughs> I have no idea. Doubled up. <laughs> wow, so I guess Kerry went over there, shoved his stack on. Ended up doubling up. Nide. Go. I go. Well, I like this. You're the same. Well, here we go again. Jack's again. Five, six, five, 
second chance. Race from Adanji well, on the button to 200k one, right? with two jacks. Zobian yeah. moved all in <laughs> from the small blind. Second no, chance. Split, I don't know what his second card is oh, just yet, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Adanji so with those jacks snaps him off. I mean, I guess we are even, baby. Five of diamonds. Couple of fives here for Zobian. I'll take jack of diamonds. <laughs> See if he returns the okay, favor with a double time. up. 10, 6, 3, 2 diamonds. The Jacks Four. still out in front for the Bulgarian. Four will be a fun one. Three on the turn. <laughs> Zobian now looking for one of the two remaining fives in order to Seems knock lucky. out Maranjiv. Oof. Four on the river. Game, guys. Game, bud. You, you Game fought bud. hard. Well played. Yeah, I folded a king there, though. Fold the stacks uh, away. Yeah, sorry about oh, that. My I'm fault. Sorry I I misread. I yeah, I think it's just a... But Anji did yeah, have Zobian covered, so... Yeah. Zobian is out here. Upside, card. 105300 dollars for him yeah, in third place. And now we are heads up between... Madanjeev and Katz. Jesse Lonis, the first player to bust from today's final table, going out in sixth place. Feels like that was a week and a half ago. It might have been. Jeremy Osmus was next in fifth. $56,000 for Mr. Osmus. Chino Reem, it was a pleasure at the final table today. Very talkative, very fun, but his run ended in fourth place. Ram Zobian going out. You guys just saw it there. His fives going down to Ranjib's pocket jacks after a lengthy three-handed battle. Lots of trading of chips between the final three players. There was even talks of a deal that were shut down by Ranjib. And now here we are. The man who proposed the deal, Kerry Katz, and even offered to give up 5% in equity when he was the chip leader against the guy who denied the deal, Stoyan Medanjev. And they're playing for about 80K difference between the two here. And of course, the points. All so important are those points on the PGT. Uh, do we play with Dante or just be with Anthony? What? I mean, yeah, hundred, hundred. All right, Ready? first hand of heads up play. What a turn of events! All of a sudden, we got fairly even stacks here in heads up play. Fifty-two bigs versus forty-nine bigs. Funny timing for me to dive into a slice of pizza right as all this stuff unfolded. Maybe I should get another slice of pizza after Donnie's finished with his, because maybe that was what this tournament needed, is for me to have some pizza. Jack A3 on the first flop here during heads-up play. Check. Now, it is an interesting dynamic because these two players are playing for about an 80k pay jump yet they are both very concerned with playing event I number mean, five where an 80k payout check, check. would mean they've no, reached the final four so if what? i was cats i would go full focus go on this check, heads check. up battle check, check. because of the cash and because of the points you can win because ultimately if you have a win check. in the bag Queen. That's how you ultimately qualify, or at least give yourself a chance to be in contention for the overall cup run. And it also helps that Katz did double up in that other event, right? Yeah. He ran over there on a, after folding a hand up here at the final table. He saw the ace, queen of diamonds. He jammed it in. Joey Wiseman called him with, I believe, was the king nine. Katz's hand held. So... He does have a little bit of, you know, uh, room to fold in that event. She does, she doesn't so he can uh, focus here, the and then he'll get back into event number five once this is done. Because she was asking me. Anyway. Right 
Shamsiev with a raise and take here before the flop. Cats raising it up with Jack-7 offsuit. Both players still plenty deep. Vodanziev comes along with 7-5 of clubs. Cats with a bet of 300k and he takes it down. Jack off for Madanziev. He's going to come with a raise. A little graphics mishap earlier, which confused us on that all in involving Zobian. Cats here, three betting to 600k. Looks like Madanziev is going to make the call here all right we got a real hand here 1.3 million in the middle six deuce for all low cards cats is going to continue Cats bets 700k. Madanziev lets go, and Cats now retakes the chip lead. Funny, Kerry Cats seems even more determined now to win this after Madanziev denied the chop. I mean, wouldn't you be? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it looks a little bit flustered with it, too. Cats calls with Queen Nine. Do his five eight on the flop here, two clubs. Likewise for Madanziev, but his ace king high is going to be good some of the time. Takes it down with the bet. Even things evens things up nicely. Only one big blind separating these two. Yeah, still very, very deep. 50 big blind average, so. 
So the context as to why this event runs past late registration for the next one. Last night they finished more than two full hours short of where they finished in previous spots at the, in the same uh, tournament structure. So the players sort of are to blame for their own success. <laughs> they went too fast last night and too slow. Slow down. Slow down, exactly. <laughs> they should have played... They should have played two additional levels last night, ended up not doing that, and then here we are. You know, it's well then, the, then, then the problem, of course, is they play two additional levels, two people bust out, yep. we got a four-handed Ex pile exactly. table. You know, it and then, and then never the, easy. And then the chat is mad at us. Arriving on the river after a bunch of checking. You can hear Negranu talking in the background. Negranu playing in event number five. PGT.com, live reporting, active now. Follow along with Negranu's updates. We're streaming that final table tomorrow, so hopefully. Nagrano can make it there. Raise and take it there for Madanjeev. The old six deuce off ain't gonna do it for Kerry Katz. A little bit of a lead here for Madanjeev, opened it up. Again, these two players are playing for a $226,000 first place prize. About an $80,000 difference between first and second. That also means 80 points for both the series leaderboard and also the season long PGT leaderboard, separating first and second place. Quick fold there from Kerry Katz. Raise here on the button from Madanjeev. And Katz picks up the ace king suited. Fires in a three bet. Madanjeev made it 200. Katz makes it 600. These players are very deep. Could see Madanjeev just come with the flat here, play this one in position. He is on the button. There is that call. So 1.3 million in the middle. 5.53 five, on the flop, one spade. Katz bets 700K and Ranjev wastes little time putting his hand into the muck and Katz pulls in this pot and Pulls the stacks closer to even. He's still second, though. 
but only two and a half big blinds separate these two players. Katz raises it up on the button. 200K with the ace nine off. Madanjev makes the call. Ace high board here. Very much favors carry Katz. And it's going to be a check fold from Madanjev. Now it's Katz out in front. I don't think these two have said a word to each other <laughs> here during heads up play. <laughs> 10 3 off here for Madanji, and he makes it 200k. Carey's got the ace 5 off. Makes the call. Jack 6 5 Rainbow. Bottom pair for Carry Cats. Maintains his lead here. Check, check. Six on the turn. 275 is the bet from Cats. And that's going to get it done. Cats now up to just about 6 million in chips. Take your game to the next level with official PokerGo merch over at the PokerGo shop. Shop now at shop.pokergo.com. All types of merch from your favorite poker brands. High stakes poker, no gamble, no future. We got PGT stuff over there as well. We got shirts, we got hoodies, we got hats. Shop.pokergo.com. Cats here on the button puts in a raise, and Madanjev makes the call. 10 8 3 here on the flop, so both players flopping a pair. Cats' top pair of 10s is best. Check, check to the turn. Jack, I feel like they're playing at rapid speed. <laughs> like, I, mean, I, I feel like they said, We're going to play faster. They might have told the dealer, Let's go. We got to get the cards going. And it's just like. It's like online play right now. Well, Donnie, we can <laughs> we can disprove the theory that I just uh, started. Oh yeah, the the pizza theory. The pizza it theory didn't work. I <laughs> went for my second slice. Nobody busted. Come no, on. Nothing happened. I don't want to show this hand. <laughs> Let's just, come on, just fold. Let's get rid of it. I mean, I should not fold actually. But this was checked down to the river and cats <laughs> bet the I minimum hundred thousand. This bet. It would much easier for me to bet here. When in doubt, fold. Good fold. Definitely beat. <laughs> Gats definitely with the best of it there and mm. extends his chip lead now. 62 big lines to 39. It might not seem much, but, you know, in an event like this, having a chip lead always huge because you never know when the dealer hands you the two nines and your opponent finds the queen jack suited. All of a sudden, you're all in for your mm. tournament life. And guess what? Having a bit of a buffer, even if it's, you know, 2.4 million. How many times did you play it's a big difference maker. Here? Or here? Yeah, you, you have a cup, yeah? You have, you have one of those, yeah? So this? You won one of those cups, yeah? Yeah, yeah last year. Last year? I won the series last year. Funny note there, Gary Katz did not win a single event last year. He had five caches, so a little bit of salt in the wounds there, perhaps, from Madanjev. I, didn't, I actually didn't win any events last year. I cashed five, but I didn't win any. There it is, Katz with the confirmation there. 
So he only has a big cup, not a small one. But guess what? The big cup probably means more to him. Overall series champ is nothing to sneeze at. To it's uh, actually my fourth tournament and uh, third cash. <laughs> All poker this is so, yeah, and this is so with one entry. <laughs> so kind of well, I know, you always have chips when I'm, you always seem to have chips every time I'm around. Why don't you have stealing all the money, three for three on single bullets. That is not how this you a lucky studio. keep the I Poker Go so. uh, like uh, players alive here in Las Vegas, taking it all back home to Bulgaria. Yes, ma'am. Uh, as I was saying, summarizing Katz's events last year, 10th place, 6th place, 4th, 4th, and a 2nd. That's what ultimately gave him the win in the overall standings, losing heads up to Isaac Haxton in the series finale, 50K. For 75. Look at this. Madanziev getting frisky here with five deuce of hearts, making it 475. Katz, king eight offsuit. He's going to come along. Interesting flop coming. This could be, this could be very, very important as ace five eight hits. Katz with a better pair, but Madanziev, if you three bet with five deuce of hearts and you find one heart and one five, you're going to be pretty pleased. Madanzia bets, bets 200k. Katz comes along. The Bulgarian potentially getting himself into serious trouble here. Adanziev bets 225. Carry Katz with a small raise to 450. I mean, yeah, this snap min raise. This looks extremely, extremely strong. I can't give you a better price than that. <laughs> <laughs> He's not lying. And because. Mordanciev has a pair and a gut shot wheel draw. He's going to come along here. This is a huge river card. It's the four of diamonds. Katz's eight is still best, and he's in position. And I can think Katz is going to happily check behind here. Ace is good. He says ace is good, shows the eight. You got me. Ah, plus draw, huh? Wow. Donnie, a bit of a needle there with the ace is good? No, I think Kerry probably thought, you know, ace is good, but... The min raise on, on the turn from him allows him to it to go check check on the river, so maybe a little bit of a way to, you know, get a free check back there with that pair of eights. You know, if he just calls, is Madanji gonna c come with another bigger bet on the river right that and then you have to make a decision? You about you got about three million? I'm trying to figure out. Cats now more than a two to one chip lead, three million to seven point two, give or take. Yeah, two, two point Next hand, next flop. This one limped in by Medanjiev. Katz flops a 10 and just keeps hitting hands. Katz comes along.
Wow, this is very interesting. Katz checks again on the turn. And Madanziev bets, bets 500k. Katz again with the super s uh, quick snap call. River card is the five of diamonds. And Katz again with the winner. This time, Madanziev has nothing, has just seven high. Checking behind would be a sure loser. He's now just thinking what combos could Katz have? Can I get him off his hands? Wow, check, check. Katz is going to show his cool. pair of tens. And the Bulgarian crusher, who led for most of the final table, is now in dire need of a double up all of a sudden. Kerry Katz rapidly closing in of what could be a huge title for him look, would look great on the resume. Gary Katz won the 100K Poker Go Cup event back in 2021 for a million dollars. Katz makes it 200k. Madanjev calls with the very strong looking king nine of spades. And a king on the flop will give the Bulgarian a chance to perhaps chip back up again. This one relatively cheap. Donnie Katz has been playing extremely fast, more aggressive than usual. For some reason, have any more hands at this level? This should be his new strategy. Yeah, let's go. Foot on the gas, baby. Katz with the three to one chip advantage here. So very much in the driver's seat as Madanjeev is just below 25 big blinds. Check. is pretty quick right now. Katz again with a quick call and spikes a jack on the turn. Everything is coming up. Kerry Katz right now hits a pair on the turn and comes out betting. Madanjev lets it go right away. Bigger lead now for Kerry. He's hit 8 million in chips. About 80% of the chips in play for carry cats. If you carry here, are you getting to a point where you want to apply that all in pressure or is it more in your favor to keep the pot smaller? I think he can keep doing what he's doing. You know, d don't need to make any overly aggressive moves and, and allow your opponent to get back into it of course you know you can approach each situation each hand you know more specifically than that but just the general sense keep doing what you're doing because it, it, it appears to be working he, he, he appears pretty locked in Katz was all in with a6 and Madanjiev let's go of the queen four Katz has him backed into a corner Cool dude says, it's taken longer to shuffle the cards than to play each hand. I mean, these sure. guys are playing at a blistering pace. 
Every single decision seems to be sub five seconds. Where was this five hours ago? Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, if you're still enjoying the content and in here are with us watching, you might as well just like the video. Let's get us to 1,000 likes. You can only imagine we're going to see a big all-in showdown real soon with Madan GF still Check. seeing a stack dwindle. So let's smash that like button. Let's get up to 1,000 likes. It would really help us a lot. And, of course, hit that notification bell once you become a subscriber because we are back tomorrow with a, with a fresh new stream starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central European time. As it goes here in Las Vegas, another another day, another final table. That's just how it goes. We have eight total events that we are streaming from our PokeGo studio this week. Zev is asking, can we get an update on his stack? He's still in. He's still in. Event number five. I guess he's uh, being blinded off since heads up play started because, of course, you can't really run to the side. We are the blinds up or next? Are the blinds up now or next hand? Cats really are the blinds up now or next hand? Now? Get those blinds up in the air. All right. As high as possible. Seventy five K, hundred and fifty K. Here we go. Wow. Here we go. This is always sort of the level that we think it's going right, to new end dealer. at. New dealer. Seventy five K <laughs> one fifty dealer change here coming in. Shout out to our moderator, RMX Indiana, sharing the link to Octopi Poker. Check them out, octopipoker.ai. Incredibly helpful tools to work on your game, and it is free to join for a select time only, and you can do that right now. Oh. Madan Jeff, 7-5 of spades, limps in, cats with the shove. I mean, he is 100% keeping his opponent in back into the corner. Yeah, now that the blinds are up to that 150k big blind, but Anji is sitting there on 13, 14 bigs. I mean, Katz is really going to look to keep the pressure on and, and end this, of course. You know, doesn't want to have a misstep in there as well, but as long as he's calculated with his decisions, should be all right. I mean, this is a pretty big chip lead. Even if he does double up his opponent, he would still have the lead three to two so probably start taking some shots Clinton might might do so right here with this yeah, one I was gonna one. say there this is. is the type of hand where you can just take a shot with and Madanji have on 13 bigs Queen seven the uh, computer hands but no tosses it into the muck not not quite there yet Dunchev was chip leader for the for the bigger part of this final table. Right now he is in dire need of some help. I think he was up to like 147 big blinds at his peak early on. I mean, they, everyone was super deep right early on. That's what, of course, led to the extended play. 10-3 of hearts, 11 big blinds now. He's gonna limp again. Holland. And Katz again with the shove. <laughs> he's relentless. I mean, he's getting hands. He has a six of hearts. That is exactly the type of hand you want to do this with. But still, to Madanchev, it must feel as though Katz is just messing with him. Yeah, it, it probably feels like maybe this guy's just getting hit with the deck. I mean, we've, we've all been there if we've played poker where you just, 
you're kind of handcuffed, both given your stack size and the cards that you're dealt. You can't really have much go your way, and it's just unfortunate. I mean, that's just the breaks of, of poker, but as we all know as well, it can turn around very quickly. It only takes one hand. I'm guessing it's not going to be this one, one though. All right, King here goes Jack Cats. Is pretty good. Shoving it all in, and King Five of Hearts. He could call this off here. Ten He's big got blinds. Ten bigs. Yeah. Would expect him to call this. All right, here it is, all in showdown, and Katz has his opponent dominated. Katz seemingly in a rush to get to the next event, but he's really going to be patient with the dealer right now because holding up right now means a title, a trophy, a lot of cash, and also a ton of points in the race for the cup. Can he hold up here with King Jack? And if a Jack comes in the window, the answer to, answer to that question most likely going to be yes. Jack, 10, deuce, rainbow flop. Madanchev looking for running cards here. Straight for a chop, maybe hearts or fives. Oh, eight of hearts on the turn. It's always a sweat. It's always a sweat. Not out of the woods just yet here. Madanchev. With nine outs to survive here, if he misses, Kerry Katz will be our champion. River card. It's the queen of diamonds, and that is it. Good game, bro. You've been, you've been crushing it. Thank you. Kerry Katz takes it down. <laughs> and now, probably a quick winner photo and running on over to his stack in event number five. Kerry Katz now among the top contenders for the big silver Pokego Cup. Madanchev, runner-up for 145K. Katz, of course, there we go. A little uh, show-off of the trophy. Right, jumping man, into third place on the overall standings. And look at this. He is quickly okay. running off to get into the very next event. Kerry Katz takes home $226,800. Here's a look at our final standings. That was quite a roller coaster. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We're back tomorrow with more from the Boca Go studio. We got event number five final table. It's our last 10K of the series. We're going to bump the buy-in up to 15K after that. Here's a little bit of a look back at the action from today. We had superstars in every single corner of this final table. And even though you might not have known all of them, they all played like stars. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Rem Parinkama. Donnie Peters was alongside me yet again today. Kerry Katz got it done. He is now in contention for that big silver cup. All right, see you all tomorrow. Have a good night.